Thank you very much. You can give us one song if you are ready and you can dismiss the police band thereafter. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Honorable Premier, the Executive Council of the Free State Provincial Government convened on the 6th of March and resolved to request you to approach the Honorable President for the Honorable President to declare the funeral of the late MEC Tate Mahwe as the provincial official funeral. And in terms of section 1, subsection 4.1 of the state official and Provincial Official Funeral Manual, July 2016, the President has accordingly declared the funeral of the late MEC Tate Mahwe as the Provincial Official Funeral. We therefore, Honorable Premier, would like to request you to grant us permission to start the proceedings of this funeral service. Thank you very much. We are proceeding as permission has been granted with our funeral service. And I take the opportunity to welcome the bereaved Mahwe family and the Hayane family, Sis Ivy and the children. all family members and relatives. I take the opportunity also to welcome the Honorable Premier of the Free State Province, Premier Mkolisi Dukwana, 
and spouse, Minister Enji Mutsekha, the Minister of Basic Education, and spouse, Dr. Mutsekha, the premiers from our sister provinces, I recognize uh, Premier Zamani Sol, former premiers of our province, Premier Beatriz Mashov, Premier Ace Mahashole, former Premier Ace Mahashole, and former Premier Sisin Tombela. I also welcome the speaker of our provincial legislature. Oh, sorry, before that, I was made aware that the Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly will be amongst our midst, the Speaker of the Free State Legislature, the Deputy Speaker, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, the National Executive Committee members, the Provincial Secretary who leads the delegation of the Provincial Executive Committee, and members of the Provincial Executive Committee and leaders of the Alliance. Deputy Minister Rijayana Mahaule and other Deputy Ministers who are in our midst. The Acting MEC for Education in the, in the Free State, MEC Magalo Mahale. Our MECs in our province, and all other MECs, specifically MECs from, for, for education from our sister provinces and all other MECs that may have come to mourn with us. Members of the legislature, members of the National Assembly, members of the National Council of Provinces, ambassadors and high commissioners, my colleagues, heads of departments, and all other colleagues in the provincial government of the Free State, and also others from other sister departments and provinces across the length and breadth of our province. Principals and teachers, all fraternal organizations in the teaching environment, education stakeholders, institutions of higher learning, teachers' unions, parents of our learners, our learners, ladies and gentlemen, fellow South Africans. We take the opportunity to welcome you to this somber moment of the funeral service of our late MEC, Tate Mahwe, the undisputed champion of education in South Africa. As I have accordingly established this, this protocol, I would like all speakers who come on board to come and deliver their tribute to only recognize family, the premier, and the minister of basic education, Minister Nji Mutsekh. Those are the only three instances anybody will try to uh, observe protocol. I have established the rest of protocol, and I'm hopeful that we will not struggle with people instead of having to deliver their tribute. They would like to observe protocol, except, as I have indicated, the Premier, the uh, Minister of Basic Education, I mean, family, Premier, and uh, the, the, the Minister of uh, Basic Education, Minister NG Mutsekh. My name is Kopun Radikonsan and I work for the Free State Provincial Government as the Director General. We will try to steer the ship with uh, MEC for Social Development, MEC uh, Mamiki Kabati, who also happens to be the chairperson of the Political Funeral Management Committee. I am going to invite, we took counsel 
from the, the, the Deputy Minister of Education on Thursday. Uh, uh, Deputy Minister Rijayana Mahaule, we took your counsel and we have given, we are now handing over to the clergy to uh, give us uh, the service and the sermon and we will proceed with our program accordingly. I invite uh, Muruti Mupiti, uh, Kia, Kia Lenka, Kia Lenka Mupiti uh, to lead us in a church service. I am from Eagle Christian Church. Let me quickly greet Dade Tate's darling, Mama Ivy. Let me greet his children, his family. Let me also greet my pastor, who's also my husband, Pastor Gyalinga Mopiti, and also observe protocol. Ladies and gentlemen, Dine Apa to represent the Executive Committee of Eagle Christian Church. And I was also Shepherd Leader, Yagatata Lo Uleli Apa, or Dr. Poletet Mahwe. So, Ekaweni Umfundisi has divided the church into uh, small groups, if I can call it that. And we call it Shepherd Groups. And, um, I think you will relate better, you will understand better if Ungati. It's like a home cell, it's like a home cell group. So, a couple of years back, and then we continued, after that church service, we continued uh, seeing him 
calm. You know, we continue the following Sunday, the following Sunday, a Caesar. And I, I, I will never forget the day he responded to the altar call. When Umfundisi called the altar call, UMEC came and he responded to the altar call and accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. I also have here with me a signed, it's his signature and written in his handwriting. It's called a membership covenant. Um, it's it's a, when he was taking membership and he signed this. And it's his first name, Bule Herbert Isaac Mahwe. And I, I smiled so much when I saw this because it really reminded me of the kind of Utata who MEC was. You know, he did not write doctor here. He did not write MEC. He just wrote Iikamalake, and that's exactly how he was at church. He was very, very humble. So Umfundisi, the, the time after he took membership, Utata, Umfundisi said, um, so they were doing the allocations and he was under my shepherd group. And I thought, what? Gosiamu, how am I going to do this? How does a person like me get to lead a leader? I thought he would be the most difficult person to lead. But Uta Deteti made it so easy. easy. In fact, I even thought in Aya, he will protest. He made it so easy. He, he reported. He, when I called meetings, he was there, you know, and he, he used to say, my leader, no, you are my leader, you must tell me what to do, doesn't matter out there about who I am, but here it's you who is my leader. So despite of who he was in society, despite of the many accolades that he had, Udata, when it came to Etzawen, he overlooked the fact that he didn't, um, he wasn't deterred by the fact that I'm a woman. He wasn't deterred by the fact that he held a higher stature than I in society. He was also not deterred by the fact that I was younger than him. And that is how much he respected people. So briefly before I sit down on this, as of Pagama, I just wanted to, to quickly read the last, um, just to show the kind of person that he was. The, the last few messages that he, 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 he sent um, he sent uh, here, he said, Ati, good morning, my leader. Thank you for the information. Oh, no, no, I'm going to read the one before that. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, my high-impact leadership. This has been a bad month for me in terms of church attendance. Can you please send me video clips of the church service? I have been in Cuba since last Sunday. I feel a gap in my heart. Shalom. So that is exactly the kind of man that he was. He yearned for the word of God. And even when he was away, he would report and say, I'm away. And then we would send him video clips. And then the very last Sunday, the Sunday before his passing, he was there. He was at church. And Ebeshele Payana, you know, with a smile on his face because he was always smiling. And then the Sunday, that last week Sunday when we learned about his passing, I remember how lonely already we were feeling so lonely at Tawin. So I'd like to say to Mama Ivy, Mama, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing your husband to the feet of Jesus. For you know, what does it profit a man to, prof what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul? You gave him the best gift ever by bringing him to church and to his babies, Sisi, Junia, and the grandchildren. I remember you guys always walking into church to worship the Lord with your daddy. And, you know, I just find comfort that he's with the Lord. Thank you so much. Kahudu Medisa, the Laba, Kahu Otoloha, Kidu Medisa, Me Ivy, 
mohole bana ba hai le le lapa ka ka karetso ke di medise mo eta pele wa rona nta te dikwana medise me iv ke di medise phuthe ho ka ka karetso all protocol observed ke ba tla o qala ka hore le fula nta te teit Lienze a big withdrawal. In our spiritual bank account, in our emotional bank account, and it was not an easy week. We had to dig deep. Matla Fatsa family, we Matla Fatsa Rebata Holebo Hamudim, for we the Sebelet so several and Rabalitsona, Harabek, La Pain, the family, Rile Rabona Mushol, the Larabona, Tumeliabona, Epahama, Bayema. Bani Koso, a whole regards a halang. Jehola Sehela, Kitumelo, Nakunyan. Joleka me as a receipt, a hagazurna, dislighted the page, the good cupile, as part of my preaching. The ready? Are they ready? Okay. If they are not ready, let me continue. Bomme le bontate. Sunta ha sao ketela. Seo ntate teiti aning alikirikeng kasona. Hula hai sahala mushlolo. We called him to the front. And we were led by the Spirit to pray for him. I don't have any visuals here, so I, I suppose uh, the first light is there. And if ever, uh, uh, that's where we were praying for him. The reason why we were praying for him is because we were led by the spirit to pray for the protection the prayer was specifically for the protection and therefore on sunday morning a week later, when we receive the Tabata Hore, that it take a house a layer. Elari theater. Puto Ekelanka, Buta Mudimukila, what is this? We pray for the men under your leadership, and a week later, he is no more. The second slide, many of you have seen the Lelling Lantate Tate. Kimuna Yadding Abbey Let's Have Way High Humudimo Yena Hamo Lubunta Timului. They established a fruitful partnership between Dikolo Lidikereg, Haselemo Sekala, Ndate Teituna Puta Bana, Aba Kenya Dikerekeng, Loba Rapella, Haselemo Siakete Long Elena Koyaungola, the exams, 
and we would pray for them not only in our church but in many churches across the province this man was highly favored by God this man he was supernaturally set up positioned by God for progress and success in spite of adversities, hindrances, and limitations. But the whole family, he was a blessing to us. Your loss is our loss. Psalm 84. And we are reading two verses there. To give this title, Turning the Valley of Baca into a Well. Turning the Valley of Baca into a Well. Psalm 84, verse 5 and 6. Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Jerusalem or Zion. Verse 6. Passing through the valley of Baca, they turn it into a place of spring or they make it a well. So, so to Hulishlohonolomoto, Batu bau ulemata abona. Bau pilu tsabona diratan ditsila tsahao. Habanze bahao laka hosho yabaka. Bai fetu la hosho ya didiba. Bome lebontati Psalm 84 is classified as a pilgrimage psalm. This psalm is sung as praise by those who traveled to Jerusalem to worship the Lord. It says, Blessed is the man. The amplified in bracket it says, Happy is the man. Fortunate is the man to be envied is the man because this man is empowered supernaturally to move forward in spite of adversities lengolo liri motho yenwa o hlohono lo fetse go bane matla a hae o a fumana ho jehova the man is blessed Psalm 20, verse number 7. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. So this man that we are talking about. Kemoto. Yeo tepo ya hai. In name Elihudi. Mutuyenwa yeo tepo ya hai ili humudimu ke mutu yali yeto he's a traveler or he's a pilgrim he's on the way to Jerusalem to worship the Lord those who know the history of the Bible there was a tendency yeah, who already worship us at a certain time, but never travel from wherever they are to Jerusalem to go and worship the Lord. 
So this man, ya tsepa modimo, o tseleng ho lo tlotlisa modimo Jerusalem. But motienwa bomme le bontate ya tsepa modimo. O na le pepetso. E ke batlang gore re buwe ka yona. The journey to Jerusalem to worship the almighty God it was a journey that had to pass through the valley of Baca the way to the worship place the way to the temple in it amile ifite through the valley of Baca they actually say this place, the Valley of Baca, was an actual place. It was located just outside the city gate of Jerusalem. And that tells you how a worshiper a young William Haya Elotrotli Samudimu on a tramele affit through the Valley of Baca. Now, let's unpack this valley of Baca so that we can do justice to the test. In the scripture, the valley of Baca was also called the valley of weeping. The valley of Baca is the valley of tears. It's the valley of slaughter. It's the valley of of tears so the travelers going to Jerusalem through a valley or a place of tears through the valley of Baca Lietong la ho khoto fa tsa modimo lieteng la ho tlotlisa modimo nakong e tseng ya bophelo o tlo iphumana o feta through the valley of tears the valley of baka was part of the desert country the valley was filled with thorns in a tletse ka di phofolo tse hlaha this valley of Baca, it was literally a valley of tears. How hona hali bomme le bontate ube mu kreste ebe mu pilomba how how na balena ko yew ofitang through the valley of tears. Hakibu wachena Huna le batu Mahare ngaroni Huna le mutu Ya duzi mpela hao Ya fitang Kholo nyena ya baka Kifela Runa batu Ritseba huipopa Lui tukisa Harirate batu Batsebe more fitante But bupilombona Bo rebo pilang wa rata kapa hau rati hutabale na ko yew ufitang through the valley of Baca. Every worshiping Christian must walk through the valley of Baca. There is no way around. We have to go through it. Rukopane katila yew rukopane kayo na we are going through it. Kilikile, we rappel la sonda. Hurry, we should go around it. But Kirunabana, Ripumana, we are going through it. It is encouraging because the text says we are passing through the valley of Baca. 
bomme le bontate ke le bo hamudimo ho bane le eton la rona la ho khahlisa mudimo le eton la rona la ho tlotlisa mudimo le eton la rona to go and worship the lord we are passing through thank god we are passing through we don't stop at the middle of the valley of baka we don't camp in the valley of tears we are passing through in other words we are walking through hakibu wa hona tswale bo phelong ka kakaretso hona le batho ba qetang ho kena go hlong yena ya dillo hona le batho ba sembana le dikgwedi tse tsheletseng ka padilemo ba se ba le mahari hona le batho hakibu wa tsena bayatswa ka haru ho this valley of baka ho sane e tabelie mong o tlo kena le wena in this valley of baka but in twe khotatsa nke hore we are going through family ke bata hore ho lona le kene ka haru ho baka le kene ka hore the valley of tears but ke bata hore ho lona the text says we are passing we are walking through david says in psalm 23 though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me una lena ko yo da fita ane nga tsamaya ka hara khohlo a lelekiso a ke morena solo because of his jealousy una lena ko yo tafita ane nga balea a balea tshana le le phoforo una fita khohlong ya baka as we travel through this valley of baka be encouraged you won't die in this valley the last part of the verse as i about to conclude as this man is passing through the valley of baka the bible say they dug wells but chika did turning your valley into a well hare kene ka haru khohlo yena hare shwelle this travelers ba o re buileng ka bona tseleng ya ho ya jerusalem ba ne ba tsama ya distance e telele di job ne di fela tseleng metsi ane a fela tseleng ha ba fita go hlong yena ya ba ka ka ba ka la go nyorwa le ho tepella ba ne ba tlamile hore ba chepe sidiba in the valley of baka ba ne ba tlamile hore ba cheke sidiba ka hare ho se baka se kotsi ho bana ha ba ne ba keke ba cheka sidiba se don tsametsi a ba nyorolang ba ne ba keke ba fihla Jerusalem mo ba ne ba lotlotisa modimo ka teng we turn our valleys into a well bo mmele bo ntate re bo hlokong mare ke ba tlaole khothatsa ke re ha re chicken sidiba ta hlehelo nya rona ha re chicken sidiba who call the mercy at the song a repomota a rechatula me ivy libana bahau but shukum balona chicken sidiba that did you wanna but shukum bahau only wait up in the waruna chicken sidiba and daddy me and ji or last day three came out to you you know move in you are holo tahlelo nya ha o mama chika sidiba but ba free starta re lahlehetswe ke motho e o rena re le phauto ka yena ha re chicken sidiba bana ba ka ba skolo ke a le bona mo le a motseba ha re chicken sidiba what does it mean ho chika sidiba 
we learn and we turn our times of sorrows and distress into wells from which we draw the waters of spiritual maturity and growth. Jobo, we la chika sidiba. He traveled the valley of tears as Satan was allowed to strip away everything that God blessed Job with. Job, we let a check as deeper. He never lost his relationship with the giver of all good things that he had. Job dug a well and God restored to him many times more than what he had lost. Dafita, we let a check as deeper. Paul and Silas, they let a check as deeper. Balika haru hudrongo, habaka ba complain about their pain, habaka mamari, but bibiliary at the middle of the night, they were worshiping and praising God. And other prisoners were listening. Two things can happen when you pass through the valley of Baka. You can complain and complain and complain, or you can dig a well and refreshing water will come out that will give you strength when you pass through the butter when you pass through the valley of butter you can become bitter or you become better junior fetu Cheka Sidiba, fresh data, had a chicken Sidiba. That's all a pili, Cabo Pilo. If you are in the valley right now, and there seems to be no way out, I want you to know that God has already prepared a well for you to be refreshed. He has promised He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Blessed is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are your ways. When this man passes through the valley of weeping, they turn it into a place of spring. They turn it into a well. By Let's use our faith to dig this well. Because but are different situations. So Some are going through divorce. Some are going through financial divorces. Some are experiencing rebellious children. Some have problems with their health dig a well right in that valley you are not going to die in that valley that area leboa la harasa u twisis ready for the game or the matla fadi se beke na kaufe le bo alenzo la hao le re bontsang gore mona mo re fetang teng tshepo e teng re ka tshika didiba tse go la metsi a to re vaiwa me ya rona re fe matla bo hlale ba ho tshika Adile, Mutimua Caria Chica, Ubanabu Pilo, Botamile Buepini, Harechepa Mudimo, Hamezi, a copote, Mezi, a tongue to revive this family, to revive the state as a whole. Sepo Yarona, Yuena, Kiki Waratu, Ralebuantati, Alibizola Jesu, Manazareta. Amen.
Hara chicken sitiba. Morena. Ale flora no fats. He's the God of the mountains. He's also the God of the valleys. Let's dig the well. Thank you very much. We are going to proceed. Uh, with uh, our program, I'm going to request the school choir to give us one item, and uh, immediately after that request, Howard Ndaba, accompanied by Tavans Vitwane, to come and read the obituary to us.
thank you very much to the Apostle of our program. It's uh, Mr. Tawans Gitwani, not born down the proceed alone with what we are going to share, to read the obituary of the deceased Jade Mahwe. And I would request that except family, we all rise as the obituary is read. Committee 
of the ANC in the Free State Province. Dr. Mahwa dedicated his life to disadvantage and marginalized people towards the complete realization of true political revolution and the eradication of grand poverty. Dr. Mahwe was one of the longest serving members of, of, of the Free State Provincial Legislature and a member of the Executive Committee. He served in, he served in the following position in government and the Provincial Legislature. He was a member of the Provincial Legislature from 1994 to, 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 20, to 2023. Free State MEC for Finance. 1994 to 1996. Free State MEC for Tourism and, and Environmental Affairs, 1997 to 1999. Free State MEC for Agriculture, 1999 to, to 2001. Chair of Chairs in the Free State Legislature from 2001 to, to 2004. Free State MEC for Public Safety, Safety, Security and Liaison from 2004 to 2002. Free State MEC for Finance from 2005 to, to, from 2005 to 2009. Free State Education MEC from, from 2009 to 2023. Throughout his, his lifetime, Dr. Mahwe was recognized through many befitting awards, which among others include an honorary doctoral degree in management science and in 2018 from the University of Technology. The Ubuntu, Ubuntu Award for Education 2014 from Texas Harmony Institute. And he also received an award on the Kamlude Award, Kamlude Award from the University of Free State. And lastly, his, his Chancellor Excellent Awards in 2021 from the Central University of Technology. Dr. Marquette was married to Ivy. He is survived by his wife Ivy, brother Papi, children and grandchildren, Balisa, Maggie Jr., Nash, Kutle, Didi, Tumi, Masintle, Tepo, Sidi, Tsukufato, Morena, Katleo, Hoto, and Bilo. He believed in the vision of a better life for all and was driven by the quest for the total eradication of poverty, unemployment, and inequality. Dr. Mahwe impacted many lives positively. Indeed, he was simply the best, and his legacy will continue to live on. Dr. Mahwe passed on, on 5th of March 2023 at the age of 59. Lala. I thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you I was about to say you may be seated, but you don't take instructions from the program director. So we only act with directives from the program director. Thank you very much. Um, I am going to invite the following family members to give tributes. Mr. Kata Mahwe on behalf of the Mahwe family. Judge President Peter Ledzi on behalf of the Taledzi family. Uh, Dr. E. Khayane on behalf of the Khayane family. Just in that order, please, the three family members I have called should come upstage simultaneously.
the High, high Court in the Northern Cape, Judge President Talezi and Dr. E. Khayane. I have requested them to come on stage. I see only one person on stage. Are you here? Okay. Could you look at them? Daddy Kata, Kwenakala. Yalebuwa Mutama Isuwa Musebeti. Kilebuwe Bose Ba Ilemba Etapele Barona. Kilebuwe Esicha. Kore Hona, Kwatli Watatanya. Mare Mutimu Ari. Yeah, Kiau <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Every time, back in the Hallelujah. 
Program director, as directed by you, I incorporate all the salutations and acknowledgement that you have made, and I request that they be considered and as read and, uh, into my presentation. And also recognize those that you missed, that they are also welcome. But to the bereaved family, the Honorable Minister, Mr. NG Fonseca, Premier, all other dignitaries present, ladies and gentlemen, of course I feel honored and privileged to be the one to speak on behalf of the Thalesi family. My selection does not mean that I am in any way more qualified to do this task. All of us in the family are equally qualified to do the task. However, this lot was reserved for only one person. I think by now the program has clarified the Tlalesi connection. This man is the son of Tlalesi. So how can we task it just because he was simply the best? If you were to say, Tate, is Puleta Lazy. The breaking rights would be mine. A name is only a label. What matters is the character and the soul inside that body. Premier, this past Thursday, on the 9th, you constituted a provincial official memorial service in the honor of Tate and Voyo. On this occasion, MEC Bulwani ably assisted by the DG, Mr. Radin Konsani, as prosecutors, presented several witnesses who knew Tate and had interacted with him at various stages and occasions of his life. All the speakers uh, gave their independent and honest view about Tate. What was remarkable is that they were all credible, consistent witnesses who corroborated each other in all material respect. Their testimony was who Tate was and how he conducted himself. What may have sounded to others as a contradiction, which was in fact not material, was the award of a doctoral degree honoris causa to Tate. Both speakers, though, agreed that Tate deserved the conferment of the honor in recognition of his immense contribution to the society. His friend, Mr. Masitela, who knew him, his abilities very well, merely challenged him to distinguish himself from the others by registering for a doctoral degree. This challenge was gladly accepted by Tate. Having listened to all who testified, there is only one verdict that can be returned in the circumstances. It has been proven beyond all and not necessarily reasonable doubt. 
but that indeed Pule Tate Mafe was a mighty man. He had all the attributes and qualities one can ask from God. He was an epitome of hard work, excellence, humility, kindness, intelligence, to mention a few. He was a well-rounded person, an exemplary public office bearer. It is not common to find all these gifts in one person. As family, we also benefited from his talents. He, among others, showed his love to the family through his generosity. The entire family is left poorer without him. He leaves a big void, which will be impossible to fill. To my sister Ivy, thank you for having consented to establish a family with our brother. We know very well that he would not have performed to his potential had it not been for the support you provided. You always provided him with love, affection, care, counseling, and good advice. We shall forever be indebted to you for being Tate's pillar of strength. We shall always keep you and the children in our prayers. Palesa, Maki, and daughters, I know that you have an enormous task of establishing your own families. Your parents have provided you with a relevant and good template to do so. Continue to take good care of your mother and siblings. Nothing will defeat you if you remain united as a family. Your father's legacy is a treasure that deserves to be jealously Got it. To Junior, your father knew that time would come when you must step into his shoes. That moment is now. Your father has provided you with the necessary tools for this enormous task. You know what your father wished for, what he liked and disliked. Take his spear and shield to defend your entire family and protect his enviable legacy. On Thursday, Mento Mbela told us that you are a brave person. My son, continue this path. Fear no one and respect everyone. Today, we have a lot from you to console ourselves with. You have been our worthy ambassador. You have, made us, you have made us proud. As family, we are the envy of many because of you. We shall forever cherish the memories of you, the, the memories we had together with you. It is unfortunate that some of the people you served selflessly with love and dedication are the ones who vandalized the infrastructure intended to save lives on our roads. Those cattle had no business to be on that road. But for these selfish people, cares be to those who damage and steal our public infrastructure. I hope they realize the mess they have caused. Foka, you leave this world with a clean and good track record. Never once were you paraded for malfeasance in the media or in the criminal courts. It's job well done, Poka. Take your rightful position among the heroes and heroines who predecess you. Fare thee well, my brother. You were simply the best. I thank you.
program director, premier of the Free State Province, and all protocol observed. Simply the best, as Ndate Mafoy was affectionately known, but however, as many of us know and should never forget, is that our best was never his. Ndate Mafoy always demanded more from anyone he met. I wish I was given more minutes to challenge a few people in this venue and ask two simple questions. What qualifications did you have when you first met Ndate Mafoy? Secondly, where and what are you doing currently? I guess that many of those challenged would say that even though they had, they had qualification with no experience, with Ndate Mafoy's help, they have since furthered their studies and gone on to occupy high position in various institutions in the private and public sector. Ndate Mafoy was highly skilled and passionate about unearthing talent. That was a deployer of note, Mr. Program Director. Recently, that would be four or five days ago, in Ndate Mafoy's memorial service in Lejole Pusa, I met one of the educators whom I know to be working here in Bloemfontein. When I asked him, what are you doing here? That, that was on a Wednesday, because on Thursday there will be a memorial service in Bloemfontein. Then he said, I got a call a week ago from Dr. Mahakwe asking me to go and assist in, the, in one of the districts. This is quite amazing. It is hardly a week, two weeks after the announcement of Mexico results of the class of 2022. But here is Dr. Mahakwe already has identified uh, areas that were lacking, and equally so identified people who would go and assist. And for that, I say, Ndate Mako was a deployer of note, vision, and purpose. So let me briefly touch on my, pref my personal relationship with Ndate Mako. I guess, and please don't laugh at me, I'm one of the oldest medical graduates in the free state or even the country. I qualified my degree at age 51. I think you don't believe it. It's true. I got my medicine degree at age 51. Funny, when I hoped that people that I was working with, they would encourage and support me. Here I come and meet Ndate Mahakwe and a few others at On the Last Race, that is Ndate Mutswane and Mema Mtsoto, who were instrumental in that painful journey of mine. To be exact, when I met Ndate Mahakwe, I was doing second year, it was my degree in Bachelor of Science at the University of U.S. And Dr. Mako was so excited. And, and it was that kind of unbelievable that here is the person at my age pursuing this degree. And remember, I'm doing night duty and going to class in the morning. And from there on, Dr. Mako was very instrumental and in assisting me and also encouraging me until I completed my degree. Then we met after completing my degree, Dr. Mako would call me and say, Doc, I think you can play a role in doing road show in the free state, motivating learners to know that it is never too late to attain your dreams. Now that Dr. Mahwe has gone, because he left me with the saying, the learners in the free state, I'm just wondering, was he saying, going there to motivate learners, 
primary, high school, or was just saying, go help Sasa students of my age? That is still to be answered. Dr. Mafe left this family and was able to make time for those moments meant a great deal to us as a family. He would never miss an opportunity to acknowledge everyone's achievement in the family and would celebrate them as if they were his own. And Tate Mafoy would never let anyone fail to go to school because of money. He would never hesitate to go into his pocket and assist everyone. And family doesn't mean Mafoy, the lazy, and whatever. It means everyone who was challenged financially to go to school and Tate Mafoy would help. Lastly, to entertain my first colleagues, the Free State and the National Government, you've lost a great servant that genuinely cared for those he served. To the teachers and learners in the Free State, the family would like to plead with you to protect and maintain the legacy of the late Ntateo Makwe by continuing his work. Please, don't ever let that oil lamp to run dry. And equally so, give an, uh, just, uh, I'm sorry about that. Give support to the incoming MEC of Education so that the dreams of Dr. Mapwe are realized. To Khaitediaka IV, I want to applaud you in the manner in which you managed to gracefully handle the polygamous marriage that the Mahwe had. I would differ, I would differ from the obituary the that I just read in that Dr. Mahwe was married to three wives. Dr. Mahwe was committed to you and your children. That is the first wife. Secondly, Ndato Mahwe was committed to the African National Congress. That is the second wife. And lastly, Ndato Mahwe was committed to the Free State Department of Education. And that is the third wife. And through all this, you've been his pillar of strength. And to the Mafe family, thank you and please continue to support Me Ivy, Palisa, Maki, and Junior. Let me please allow me to include this in my speech. Yes even though it came late. Yes. To Dr. Michael and Matt Sepo, Sirisiang, and to the family of the uh, late Colonel Len, who was laid to rest yesterday, we send our sincere condolences. And to Dr. Kupani, the driver, we would wish him a speedy recovery. And to my brother, Tate Mahwe, may your soul not only rest in peace, but also with pride. I thank you. Okay, thank you very much, uh, family. Ndade Kada Mahwe on behalf of the Mahwe family, Judge President Zalezi who conducted a mock uh, court case here on stage. And uh, Dr. Khayani, on behalf of uh, the Khayani family, where Ivy hails from. I'm now going to take the, f the following four speakers, and you have got 16 minutes to share. Four speakers, You've got 16 minutes to share. 
Mangale Sokawa, Pule Mlele Nyane, Hepi Tilo Sane, and Clara Makara. Tribute by First VIP Protector, Mangale Sokawa, uh, Friends, Pule Mlele Nyane, and Hepi Tilo Sane, and a business partner, Clara Makara. You have 16 minutes to share, so you can have your small caucus to agree who takes the biggest share. State, the Minister, and all protocol observed. Dr. Khayani, I'm raising my hand to say I had nothing when I met him in terms of qualifications. I met Tate in 1993 at Masada offices of the ANC, Northern Free State. There were five executives, Ndate Makashule, Ndate Dukwana, Ndate, the late Ndate Vakele Maigiso, Ndate uh, Pat Matosa, and Ndate Makwe was the treasurer. I was the driver protector there. I was given to Ndate Makwe because the person whom, whom I was supposed to work with were from the one township or from the same township. And he said, I was told by the Dr. that he said, because we are from one township, you are not going to work together with me. We are going maybe to not to uh, take instructions. But to his surprise, when I was moved from the Dr. to go and beef up his security. He was the MEC of education then. I was the one who was doing the best and he could not believe it. That was the quality to go on. I worked with Tate Mahwe when I arrived in Masada and uh, we were just excited that we got a job and were working. Nari Tate Mahwe, Tate Dukwana, Lewa Wengwa Wadileng, Hiru Wakata Zidileng, Muso. We were all employed in one day. Indeed, they were my seniors, they were above me because they were MECs, they were members of legislature, but we were appointed in the same day. And Ndata Mahwe called us. He called myself, Jabu Kumaro, Tabo, Musidi, and the late Beni Sibiluan. And he said, I'm a politician. And as a politician, I can be moved at any day. So when I'm moved, you no longer have a work. You no longer have a job. So do yourself a favor, go to school. And I took that advice with both hands. And uh, I can tell you today that I'm the holder of 
the decree and also the holder of honors through Tate Mahwe. It's unfortunate that we're given such a short time to talk about this giant, but it's safe to say, Palesa, Maki, Junior, and others, your father was a hero, and your father made us what we are, and not only me, and others. Yes, in life, all of you will not be loved by everybody. There are those that will do good to them, there are those that will not good do to them. But what is important is only God. So to say? Oh, okay. Okay, no. No, uh, thank you, uh, 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 Jalas, uh, Program Director. Um, the Masara. The Masara uh, colleagues that I worked with in Masara, they requested me to read this, uh, uh, this tribute. To you, Pule Herbert Isaac Mahwe, officially known as uh, Dr. No in that time, uh, Comrade uh, Tate, truly simply the best. This phrase means that the thing a, or a person being discussed is the best without need to be given detail or how he outperforms his possible uh, competitors. Truly, there are no further ways to describe you. You were simply the best. In your eyes, we saw, too, we saw too much of your heart and soul and less of your ways. From us who worked with you at Masara Building, we'll always share these moments of, uh, and the experiences we shared. As our leader, both as the treasurer and as the election coordinator <clears throat> back then in 1890. Your leadership was and simply the best was demonstrated when as an ANC Northern Free State Region Office, then under your leadership and comrade, uh, comrade commandership, we were able to win the best organized structure of the Department of Information and Propaganda. We went to win new computers and a vehicle. As a treasurer, you were able to ensure that the, the regional structure can adequate resources, ensure implementation of all programs, that is organizing media and information dissemination, election education and com uh, campaign, content staff and, and personnel. Under you, there were multiple of volunteers in ANC campaigns. Thank you very much. Uh, this is long and we only have four minutes. Thank you and uh, DG and thank you to the general of the SAPS and to the commissioner and my chief director, Dr. Delieto. Thank you. Now, program director, Minister of Basic Education, May NG, Honorable Premier, Mkolisi Dugwan, all protocol observed. Before I start, I would like, it's not an instruction, to request the uh, Premier Zamani Sol to go and embrace me, because me knew about our plans with uh, Comrade Tate. We failed you. I know we're supposed to do education summit in Northern Cape, in assisting the ANC in Northern Cape to win election decisively. So me have said as a token of apology that we failed you and the people of Northern Cape, you must embrace her. Sis Ivy, there is Premier, we plan with him and created, and we could not execute the task of organizing the Education Summit. I have lost a political confidante I have lost my brother. I have lost a true friend. Our whiskey moment and red wine moments was always about the upliftment of the black child. Always. And when I tried to say, but chief, more entertainment, less 
divert on these things who says, no, 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 no. We have the responsibility and task to ensure that the black child excel. A great giant has fallen. Homita free start at the Fulam Busiu, Kawan o'clock morning, has taken my brother, my comrade, and a true friend. Homuta Frey start at the Fulanka one o'clock in the morning, has taken away a loving husband to commute Ivy Marvel. Homuta Frey start at the Fulanka one o'clock in the morning, has taken away a loving and a caring father to his children and grandchildren. Homuta Frey start at the Fulanka one o'clock in the morning, has taken away a heart whose dreams gave hope to the people of this province. Homuta Frey start at the Fulanka one o'clock in the morning, has robbed the ANC, a true revocrat, a true cater, and a true comrade. Free State province is going to be poorer without this gentle child. We say today, comrade has departed, but some of us will not allow him to depart whilst we lived. I know the CEO of the President Foundation is here, Dr. Maboya. And Dr. Maboya is not a request because he came after me in Sasko when we yours. And we expect the Foundation to name one of his bazaaries after Dr. Tate Maboya and I know you'll execute it. Where we are alumnus, I know the Central University of Technology I've studied there, they will outpace the University of Free State in naming one of the buildings or a street after Dr. Tate Mahwe. And I know the chairperson of that council would actually execute that task. Comrade Ted lived because his very being embodied the love, hope, and inspirations and visions. Rest in peace, rest in peace, my political confidante, my brother and comrade. You have given hope to marginalized. You have lived and surrendered your every being to the people of South Africa. Whilst your heart has lost its beat, your legacy lived on. Kondo. Rest in peace, my friend, my brother, and comrade. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Program Director, DG Rankonsani, the Premier of the Free State, Dadim Kodisi, Honorable Minister Njimu Tsekha. DG will allow me to add on that list the provincial and national leadership of the African National Congress that made me to be what I am today. I pass my greetings to all and protocol observed. To the family of Ndate Mahwe, Ndate Khayani, and Ndate Talit. It is with great sadness today to stand before you and talk about Ndate Mahwe as a friend. He was my mentor, brother, and a comrade to me. I started to know that they take my in 1983. When I joined the organization called So Tumahole, student organization in Tumahole. He was one of the leaders who encouraged us as students to mobilize and fight for free and quality education. During the uprising in Tumahole, which is known today, as to my holiday, July 15. He was one of the leaders who led the march against poor service delivery against the apartheid system. Later in September 1980, 1984, he mobilized us to join the military wing of the ANC, Umkondo Wesizwe, after some deliberation teachings as the role of the UDF and the ANC. I remember we used to gather and listen to the Radio Freedom which was the ANC radio station from Lusaka. When the struggle was at the height of, uh, of 
at the height of mobilizing the young lions. He was one of the leaders that organized us to leave the country with comrades like Comrade Lesenio Sustain Party and others. On the 19th of September 1984, he accompanied us to Lesotho to go and join the ANC and train as guerrilla warfare. He will from time to time visit us until we left in 1985 to Angola. In exile, I went for different training. Comrade Grigori will attest that we were with him. During the 1989, he established communication with me in Angola. Since I was working in communication, we could communicate with me, we knew Madigizela Mandela, and finally we got hold of the uh, establishment inside the country. As we kept communication until untimely death of Comrade Barnard Molokwani in Angola, Dr. Haga made arrangements for the repatriation of Ndate uh, Barnard Molokwani to South Africa via Zambia, where I accompanied the late Barnard Molokwani to Lusaka. Comrade Tate and Comrade Listas Kosana came to Zambia to collect the body. Unfortunately, that day, they refused me to get inside the country because they said I'm a highly terrorist. <laughs> Program director, remember the ANC was still banned. And if I recall very well, Bernard Mulukwan was the first MK soldier to be buried in South Africa, in Tumahole, from exile. I remember Comrade Tate. <laughs> I remember Comrade Tate on my return from exile. He said, happy, go to school. What do you have? Then I said, Comrade Tate, I've got my entry, which was in Yugoslavia. Bear in mind, when we were in exile, we used different names. Until today, I couldn't get He organized with NCC to me to go to school. I was later deployed to the Free State to join Comrades to open the ANC offices as MK administrator in the ANC North Free State by 10 in Velcom, Masada building. Masada, a later Comrade State was elected the provincial treasury of the ANC North Free State and he served with honor. Program director, I don't want to deal more on our political career. He will always encourage me to go to school. He organized with this business school to study police policy management, and I further studied the very same course in Britain. That was because of community. During our stay in Ottendale, that was this time that he met May Ivy in Belgium during our political work, and I will always be sent to fetch May Ivy, and finally married to her. Comrade Tate will always tell me about his lovely family and invite me whenever they had a party and asked me to stay something and told stories that I would, uh, me, me and me, I do, you know. Program director, I can talk the whole day. But if I had to talk about Comrade and me, I do, and told stories, since I be Palestine, my kid, Tate Jr., in the time of the receive the research at the Botswana Lisa, the of the to the Free State Government Department, of education and free state government. Comrade Tate laid the road for the free state under, his, under these difficult times. Let's pick up his spear and move forward. To me, IV and my family, God of yesterday is still God of today and will be God of tomorrow. In conclusion, I just want to quote this is two sentence uh, DG. Yes. This one. Oh, did you? Remember uh, to the family, remember that hope, open brackets, this is the quote from Nelson Mandela. Remember that hope is a powerful weapon even when all, all else is lost. To me, I be. Thank you, uh, DJ.
Kelly Bohan, da TDG. O primeiro AK da T, uma polícia. Me engi, Monserra. Que sem ter que ter mais de três ou só três descendentes do equipe Monsi, ninguém pelo ainda. Casi pouco de novo fuké. Meu pai lhe louva. Fuké, mas vai ser a de graça para ver. Em parte assim, a gente não que a focola. That's why I decided to bring my brother to be here so that he can support me. If I fall, he'll carry on. Libisola hai kenta te mulifi makar kima shudi omu somo tulehi walisuru tete lise labra kuti alibo kizilen tete mafu kaji ni mazenga ata kibilele na jinsonzenga tete fakakani miki leka ituta sibo pe osa hai. Then I was employed by Woolworths, and then I saw the opportunity. Then uh, I just sat down and said, I'm tired of being employed. I also want to be on the other side of the table and be an employer. Woolworths advertised a couple of uh, franchise stores throughout the country. I sat down, I wrote four pages of names, and I started analyzing them. I ended up with Tate. Back then, I used to call him Comrade Tate. But when I was in the hospital, I was a partner. Those who know us, I never saw him in the hospital, I was a partner. I communicated with him that they were who did not know that Woolworths has got uh, franchise stores. And those who know Tate, you cannot tell Tate something and then Tate does not do the research. I was in Johannesburg when I was speaking to him. Then I came back, we met. When I met with him, I thought I was going to brief him. Instead, he told me more about Woolworths. He had more questions than anything else. And then he thought that, let's go for it, partner, let's do it. But the interesting part was when uh, we, got to, we had to go through different stages. But when we got to the stage where we had to prepare the business plan, I called him, I received the email, and I said, okay, there's an email, did you see? They want us to submit um, the business plan on Sunday, and this was on a Monday. He said to me, no, don't worry, I'll come to you around 3 o'clock. He came to Woolworths, we sat down, he came with a book this much big. He's like, okay, what's going on here? He opened the book and he said to me, this is the business plan. This is how business plan is being done. I was like, no, but I've never done this. Why can't we get the professionals to do it? He said, no, we are not going to allow anybody to do it. We are going to do it. I am going to teach you how to do it. I called a friend and said, I'm going to take you here to Amujim. 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 However, I went back home. I started going through the book. It started to make sense. I spoke to him the next day. I said, okay, fine, it's making sense. I'll start to write my own rubbish. He said, it's fine. Start your own rubbish, and then we'll, we'll put it together. On a Friday, we sat down working on this business plan, something that was new to me. But Tate helped me to understand that the fear of unknown will not take you anywhere. May I? Thank you. The whole weekend she never saw your husband because he was with me writing the business plan. But because you have always been the supporting system to your husband, you allowed him to come and stay with me and he was only seeing you for a few hours. And then we worked on that. On a Sunday we were done and we were able to send the business plan to Woolworths. And I thank Tate for that, because even if you can wake me up in the middle of the night and say, write the business plan, I'll definitely do it. Nobody can take that away from me, simply because I had a good business partner. Menji, ke kutur in tate mako ore oba shape, ube oba pite, ube oba pite. It happened in Woolworths. I have uh, my ex, I have my colleagues, the ex rulers franchises who are here to support us. They can attest to this. May I be in 20, 20, 2009, you were there. We, we, we collected every award that you can ever dream of. 
And the following year, in 2010, that's when rulers decided that they are no longer going to franchise. To, they are no longer going to, 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 to franchise anymore. But me and Tate, we had a serious discussion with uh, the board. We said, we want to finish our own contract. We still left with four years. He said, no, but everybody else is out. Why do you want to? He said, we want to finish it. And indeed, we are the only standing rulers franchisees for the last three years when everybody else was out of the system. And that was stayed for you. And that was not, that was not it. Even in the Franchise Association of South Africa, Woolworths was always making it a point that they put us and we've won so many awards. Tate was something else. that is Tate. God didn't set Tate apart. Tate was the class of his own. Tate was different. Last week, I did not realize that you were saying a goodbye to me. Deputy Minister, I was with you in uh, Tata. When you were busy speaking, he called me. I kept on switching it off, off and then I decided, let me just go out. We spoke for a very long time. But don't ask me what we discussed, because I don't know. It was on a Tuesday when he came back. He called, where are you? He said, no, I'll be in Bloomfontein at half past four. He came to see me. The Wednesday, the same thing. The Thursday, but the Friday, that's when he put the chair on top of the cake. He called again, where are you? I said, I'm at my house. He said, OK, we'll meet at the garage. He said, no, I'm coming to pick you up. He came and said, I'm in the day. We discussed a whole lot of things that we wanted to do with him. He did something very strange. He went to buy two cold drinks. He gave me one and then he took one. He left, but he came back again to buy two packets of nuts. He gave me one and he took one. I did not realize that Tate was saying goodbye to me. I did not realize that I'm going to lose a partner. Tate became part of my family. Tate, I'm part of the Mahoy's family. I feel empty. I am finished. But I trust in the Lord that he will give me the strength Robalaka Hozo, my partner, I'll miss you dearly. I'll carry on where we ended. May I be? Can say anything. Palisa, Maggie, Junior, Nesh, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm part of this family. This was created by God, not me. Thank you. I love you. Bye-bye. Okay. There was an attempt to ensure that the time is saved. The speakers here took 23.3 minutes. 23.3. I had my stopwatch here. Mangaliso took six minutes. Pule Mulalanyane took 4.1. This one, Pule Mulalanyane was on point. Four minutes. Epitulosan is 6.3. And Lara, seven minutes. So don't emulate those that pass my four minutes. As we proceed. Tebo, let's welcome the children 
by our brother here, Tate Mahwe, our colleague. Let's welcome them here, Palisa, Nesh, Maki, Junior, Didi, Tumi, Elo, Kacheo, and Hozo. And also, wherever they are, the others must remain standing there. Siri Mahwe, Masen Zetalezi, Morena Molehe, Mohema, and Pulaetile Mahwe. Oh, 
stand here all out at the same time is fine but if you want to be seated there is also okay but when I when I Julia is mandatory to come and support your sister yeah when I support your sister and they need you support Good morning, everybody. I would like to start by honoring and recognizing state officials, dignitaries, and leaders of the ANC, the church, and church leaders, friends, and family at large. My name is Palaisa Kulunga, and I am Osman Mugeti and Tate's firstborn child. What a week this has been. You know, I, I wrote a speech, and I thought that you know, that was gonna be fine, but this week has been so painful for me. Um, more especially on the 5th of March when, when I heard that my dad passed away. Um, the MECs all came to, to the house and for the first time, all the MECs were there except for my father. Um, and that's, that's the one thing that made it so heartbreaking and it, it, made, it made me see that it's true that my dad is no longer around. I'm going to talk about the man that is lying there. What a remarkable man, a, a remarkable man that he was. I loved him and he loved me. He loved all of us. Um, there's one thing that my dad, all, there's one thing that all, my dad always told me is that, Paliza, you need to go and study. You can get anything that you want in this life, but only if you, if you study. Education is the only thing in, this, in, in your life that nobody will ever, ever take away from you. <sighs> the 
another thing is that he told me is that I must always stand up, stand on my own two feet, because he always he, he said that one day I will never, I will not be around. But I just never thought that that truth, that saying, would one day be a reality. Especially, um, and what you, what I realized this morning was that um, today is the twelfth, the twelfth of March, and, and it's exactly two two months before his 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 sixtieth birthday. So. We could not celebrate his birthday without him, which is, it's, it's just something. As Ivy, the dog on our ride, on our ride, Kikopa Hore, just keep the love that he had for you in your heart, carry it in your heart. It's going to be hard. My pain and your pain is not the same, but just know that everybody's there for you. Can we, you should reach out when you need help. I will also, also, I will also reach out when, when I need to talk to you because you know my dad much more better than anybody else here. To my siblings, it's a little strong. Like, it's going to be hard because we are all without a father right now. So what you also, also we need to carry his teachings and the lessons that he taught, he taught us, you know, and, and like throughout our lives. And I'm gonna end up with the quote here. <clears throat> May each tear and each fond memory be a, mo be a note of love raising to meet you. Rest in peace. And, um, rest in peace, folk. Hey, Bahu Gang, Tetsang. Mutu yo, ke poka, ke mutu wa khama pala, mapala nya, motlaka, matodi, makana le tsholo, haba aja, haba, haba khadimana, ke kha, ke ma, ke ma khadimana, ke ma khadimana ntwe, eh, utule ama, ama khulu wa pukeng, eh, eh, le kumala poka, misteri upona mutu, akha khu, akha khu khetu e ware, ware, Kung a gipoka, nyan, puka hai ha holiday tag, puka yan was aids, yellow. Welcome, officials, and all protocols observed. My dad once did an interview with the Express News where he, asked, where he was asked what inspires him. My dad's response was, my daughter Maggie, she serves a great inspiration to me as she tackles challenges head on. She is very brave for her age. I am very proud of her. She ventured into the business selling company at her school in UC, and to me, this stands out as she is not forced by circumstances to do this, but she runs her own life. My dad never let me forget how proud he was of me and always reminded me of who I was when I lost confidence. He ensured that I understand that you do not become limited because of failure if you learn from it. Um, I already understood from a young age that my, t my time with my dad was limited because he was not only my father, um, or my, a father to my siblings and I, but also a father to the children of the free state. I understand. I understood that he had to give 100% 100, 100 of himself, just the same way he gave 100% of himself to us. He truly believed in poverty alleviation against, uh, begins when um, the child is still young, and to develop that love in, for education in them because that was his own experience. The beautiful part is, I never felt an absence because when he was present, he devoted um, himself to us in such a way that made you feel like you were the only thing that mattered in his world. Believing in girl children and women was not something he just did because it was trendy. It's something he truly believed in. He showed it in the way he encouraged and empowered me and the girls around me. He led by example by fully encouraging 
my mom to be who she is and crediting and praising her for the good work she would do. He showed me that a loving husband does not dim your light, but instead illuminates it. When I say my father was everything to me, I'm, I do not mean only emotionally as a father. He was also my mentor, my business and financial advisor, my life coach, and my source of inspiration. I am constantly asking myself, what am I going to do now? How am I meant to go through my life without my number one person? I feel so lost without him, and I don't understand why he was taken, because there were still so many things that we wanted to do that we were meant to do together. But I guess I just have, I, I'll just have to trust Steve Jobs when he says, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. Daddy, I hope I make you even more proud and continue to make your legacy even greater. I love you and rest in peace. To the family, Minister of Basic Education, the Premier of Free State and everyone mourning with us, protocol observed. Daddy, Mr. Mahfoy, Papa, Mr. Simply, simply the best. You weren't only the best at your work, but as a father. You'd walk in and would walk on you like the king you are. I always made a joke that the day I get married, you'd lead the negotiations, because you groomed me and you know my worth. I didn't think we'd be in a situation like this, but you left too soon. We lost you and heaven has gained an angel. I know you are doing your Madiba dance as the heavens all comes you in your white suit. And you weren't only a father to us, but to the whole province. Felaxe heads. And to Junior, Alyssa and Mikey, please be strong. He raised us to be the eagles and to be strong. I know he would have said to Junior, Papa, I'm proud of you, my boy. And Junior would respond, I'm the man of the house now, Papa. And to Mikey, Daddy loved you. We see it in the way you carry yourself, and you love us. Mama, I'm sorry. I know it hurts, but thank you, Didi, to me. Papa loved us. He played his role role. Let's love and support mom and make Papa proud. Junior, when you seal that deal, don't forget to light a candle and tell him, Papa, we did it. I got it. I told you we did it, Mr. Miller. And let I go play golf and celebrate. Yes, remember how happy he was riding that tractor. Like you always say, he'd walk in and say, Mr. Chuehu, be strong for Mikey and the whole family. And to the Free State Department of Education, continue what he started. And like he'd say, as the peace daddy. Okay, I guess this is the moment everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> no, no, I'm not afraid. <laughs> um, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know each and every person uh, up here has come and uh, done their protocols and 
greeted home and the ministers and the people in power. But uh, to me, the real superstars is everyone else in this room that came out and supported my dad in this time. So please um, give yourselves a round of applause. I acknowledge you also. Now that all protocol has been observed, um, I think we continue. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm a bit more lighthearted uh, 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 about this uh, because uh, I'm the joker in the family. And uh, my dad always depended on me to keep things light. He always depended on me to make sure my sister's okay, to make sure my mom's okay, to make sure they're happy. My dad is not a person who liked uh, a, a sadness uh, in his venue. So please allow me to be funny, to be a little bit less serious and uh, honor my father in my own specific way, right? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to say, um, in as much as uh, I get you know, the media people are doing their job, uh, guys, be careful with the cameras because as now I was on TV, Gijai Senwichi, and like, yeah, but, <laughs> I was on TV, Gijai Senwichi, now people are going to see that on YouTube. They're going to see me eating a sandwich, and also, he caught me mid bite, so like, I, like, I, I had at least the Ginesha food ever, but. <laughs> but um, uh, 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 all jokes aside, um, I genuinely love and appreciate every person that came out into this room. Um, and yeah, uh, the amount of love and support I've received from you guys has been what's keep, been keeping me going. It's been what's keeping me pushing and um, hoping that things are going to be okay. But uh, at the end of this, uh, we are gathered for a, a painful occasion, but can I just please plead with every black individual in this room that we cannot just meet Hanko Panadifina Ali. Can we please celebrate birthdays like this, celebrate celebrations like this, and just create an environment of love amongst our community? No? Okay. Uh, my dad. <laughs> yeah, he used to call himself Ndwana Akasi. Um, and that, that is a very true statement about him. Um, many of you may not have known, but uh, my father went from being a garden boy to being an engineer. He was um, working for, uh, since he was about 16, uh, after his mother passed. His mother passed at 16. After his mother passed, he started um, working more and more and doing garden work. Uh, from doing garden work, he had a, um, I don't know, call him a supervisor, I don't know, an employer, whatever the case may be, who used to give him books to read every single time he came through. So that man also expanded his knowledge. I wish I knew his name so that I can also pass along my gratitude to him because none of us would be here if that man didn't start by instilling education in my father and believing in him as a garden boy. So I want to tell every black child in here, um, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. My father went from doing garden, like, like Akhota guys, like Yazi, you see it. Ne? He went from doing gardens to traveling to every continent on this planet. He's been to every single continent on the planet and he started off as also an uneducated boy from a rural, rural place with no parents, but somehow he's still able to touch this many lives. So black child, nothing is impossible and please never doubt that. Um, my father my father uh, I loved two things. He loved his family and he really loved education. And um, with the results just being announced, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Dr. Mulloy, Dr. Mulloy, where are you? Is he somewhere? Is he here? Just... <laughs> Is he not here? But okay, uh, Dr. Mulloy, in your absence, where is he? All right then, Dr. Mulway, let me tell you a secret. Ne? My father always wanted me to be number one. 
So the fact that he got it just before he died was his dreaming wish. <laughs> Uh, I even said uh, maybe the reason he died, I was joking around with uh, a couple of my cousins, maybe the reason uh, God decided to take him so early is maybe the matrix results in heaven aren't really that great, <laughs> so he went to go, so he went to go fix it. I, I, I told you I'm going to be lighthearted, guys. I love, I love my dad very much, and this is what he wanted me to do. Yeah? Um, my dad was very committed to his job. Uh, a lot of you might think that because uh, we're speaking so deeply about him, we had very, very close relationships with him, which wasn't really the case. Uh, our relationship with our father started getting much, much better uh, as uh, the years progressed. But that time when he was chasing number one, my dad would come home, 8 o'clock at night, 6 o'clock in the morning, he's gone. That's how committed he was to his job. And the reason why my dad died is because he was committed to his job. He came to see me in, in Gauteng on the Saturday he passed away. I got to see him one last time. But um, he came to see me in Gauteng and we had just rolled out a plan to ensure that the free state enters a new dimension of educational training. And we had run about a four or five hour meeting uh, discussing how we're gonna plan it out. And uh, um, I hope uh, as a dying prophecy, I can uh, continue uh, that, that, that dream that he had for him. But why I say uh, this job is what killed my father, is because uh, we were, after our meeting, he was supposed to leave and we decided to just have some food and, and discuss uh, a further business, right? Uh, and as we were doing such, he told me that he had a, a church conference to attend the following day, the following morning. Right? And he was, uh, the pastor came and spoke about uh, how at the beginning of every year after the results, he goes to church and he prays for students with the pastor. That's true. Because uh, on the Saturday evening, I kept saying, you know, just uh, uh, stay or leave in the morning or uh, do something else. But he was like, no, Jimmy, I have church to attend tomorrow. Um, I don't want the colored community to think that I don't love them or I don't hold them passionately also. So I'm going to make sure that tomorrow, 9 a.m., I'm at church. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. But he was so committed to making sure everybody is included that he would rather drive at 11 at night to make sure that he's on time, 9 a.m. in the morning, just so that you can see the support he has for everybody. It's not just localized to specific individuals, all right? Um, I, uh, am I still on time? <laughs> okay. My speech is good, you forgot. <laughs> okay. Um, everybody says my dad was simply the best. And no one really knows where the story comes from. So let me tell you. Uh, I attended Gray College. Uh, primary school, high school, and Great College High School uh, has a thing. Oh, I see the shade. Hello, man. <laughs> um, great, Great College actually. Oh, that, that was that was my teacher. But yeah, Great College actually. Um, uh, they have something called the music festival, and in the music festival, the whole school comes and they sing songs. So I remember it was. Uh, around about grade nine. Uh, I, to be honest, I don't really attend singing things and all these things, but there was something that they was like, oh, Dad, I'm actually enjoying this. Come watch us. Uh, come watch the school sing. When he came to watch the school sing, uh, one of the songs we sang was simply the best. In about 
This was 2013. In 2013, one of the songs Greg Collins sang on stage was simply the best. And he was so touched by that song, he's like, my son, that song has hit me so much. Next time I come out number one in the free state, I'm going to play Simply the Best. And that's where Simply the Best comes from. Uh, okay, let me say that the Honorable Sister Dombia, the, the former Premier, said yesterday that um, the media must be careful how they paint us because at the end of the day we are human beings. And she mentioned uh, me giving up on the free state and packing my things and going to Gauteng. It is true, but, man, <laughs> it is true that I did go to Gauteng, but uh, because of uh, what was said about me, which was plainly untrue, um, it made me rethink the politics of the free state, and I did pack up my things and go to Gauteng. But uh, after our meeting on Saturday, um, after the plan to draw on Saturday, uh, I, I promised him as, as uh, his farewell wish or his farewell statement that I'm not going to give up in the free state. Um, I'm going to keep pushing it and progressing it. And yeah, um, I had actually been writing some bullet points for uh, this speech. It's, it's not a speech, it's just bullet points. Uh, for things I'm going to talk about and one of the things uh, that I felt after the memorial was a lot of pain as I assume everybody here felt a lot of pain and I almost cursed myself into saying that I hope God kills me sooner so that I can be with my father but I want him to know I want him to know that the, I want him to know, even though he's dead, that the black child will never suffer while I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. That was, I, just had to, I just had to throw that in there because it was, it was emotional for me. And um, I hope he knows that I will continue fighting to eradicate poverty to educate the youth and to advance South Africa the way he wanted me to. And, whew. Okay, I promise, those are the last ones, no? Those are the last ones. <laughs> but, um, unfortunately, I think I'll be done for now because I feel I can control myself better. But the one thing I will say, and the one thing I will say in closing, I mean, in closing, is that um, all of us here, guys, please support black business, please support your community, please progress your community, because that's what he stood for. That's what he stood for. And uh, I had to do, I was just going to not wear my jacket and show you what I had planned, but uh, my mom wanted me to do it another way. She wanted me to add some drama. So, why I say uh, uh, support um, local brands because I had actually gone to a shop called Cassiflav or Cassiflava. I don't know. I'm sorry about the pronunciation. But um, I had actually asked them to make a portrait of my father on my waist so I could keep it. So, I just want to say, I love you, Dad. I know he knows it. And I know he, he wanted me to be this strong when I stood here. Because he'd always call me a eh, Sibata. Or a eh, Kakapa. Or something along those lines. And um, I wish, even up in heaven, he knows that um, I'm going to do my best to make him proud. And. Uh, I promise to progress the free state and the black community just as he's been doing. Thank you very much.
Let's give them a round of applause. We may just even rise. We may just even rise and give them a round of applause. Just take my first children. Thank you very much for a wonderful eulogy to your father. We may sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much for an unbelievable, wonderful eulogy to your father. And I'm sure wherever he is, with his sweet smiles, he continues to smile on you and give the strength to you as his children, the fact that you were able to address this gathering here, he must have been looking over your shoulders and giving you the necessary strength. Thank you very much and good luck uh, as you will attempt to emulate him and to follow his wishes as your father. Thank you very much. I move on with the program and uh, I request Mpomuchwari to advance to the podium and the following uh, will rise when Mrs. Mahoy's tribute is read. They better come up here. They better come up here and say, and Rio. Uh, will rise. So let's, let's invite um, Pomuchwari to come and read the message and the tribute from Sis Ivy, the wife. Togo?
Patrick in Pomochari, and I'm standing here with my cousin sisters, Dean Paul Letepi. Uh, I think as my cousin brother has said, all protocol has been observed. Uh, as you can imagine, my auntie is not strong enough to stand here. So we are here to actually relay her message, a tribute to our uncle, her husband. To my loving husband, father of my children, my best friend, and my compass, my Mr. Mahwe. It is with a heavy heart that I write this message and bid you farewell. Sorry. Uh, the corporate program director here reminds me as we take this message, you should rise. Okay. My apologies. Start from afresh. Okay. I'll start from afresh. To my loving husband, father of my children, my best friend, my compass, my Mr. Mahwe. It is with a heavy heart that I write this message to bid you farewell so suddenly and so soon. You have been a tower of strength in our lives, our protector, advisor, and guardian angel. Love and humility has shaped our lives together, and I am grateful to God for bringing us together. You were quite a visionary, and had, you had a, a unique ability to drive us to fulfill our dreams. Our lives were shaped by your astute foresight, brilliant mind and wisdom. You managed to protect our family and helped us understand your career of serving the people of this country. You were the best father to your children. They were not spoiled <laughs> with finer things in life, but you always asked them to work hard and make sure they succeed. You encouraged them to be entrepreneurs because you believed that that is the space as black people we have not tapped in. You encouraged them to be employers, not employees, and explained that they would create employment and compete internationally for contribution in economic development. You supported them so much that they would call you to advise them in anything. Your children were denied cell phones and television. They were only allowed to watch television from Friday until Sunday at four o'clock in the afternoon because you wanted them to concentrate on their studies and do so well. As a result of the discipline, all your children did very well in their metric exams, and your son, Junior, is the first black student to have his name engraved on the board of top achievers at Gray College, and was in the dean's list at the University of Cape Town. You encouraged the kids to pursue engineering studies at the prestigious University of the Cape Town because you have always acknowledged that in your youth these opportunities were not available to black people. Your love for engineering was more elevated. Oh my god. Your love your love for engineering was more elevated when you saw the 4D scan of your unborn grandchild and we are grateful for that technology that you saw your grandchild before your departure. I would adorably remember um, how you changed and saved my name on your phone to Mother of Engineers. After the children finished their studies in engineering studies, you found the most joy in their achievements and gave them confidence to soar for greater heights. When your daughter got married, you were so happy and adopted your son-in-law as your own, Nash. You loved him so much. You were very strict, but you did not hold any grudges unnecessarily. You would reprimand a person and forget about it immediately. You were a straight talker and never missed your words, but, no, but meant no harm at all. And continues. I continue to read. You believed in us and you pushed us to do our best. I looked up to you and admired your calm and courageous nature. I would complain about work and how to handle issues and you would say, Miss Mahwe, 
You must respect authority. If your boss sees things differently, just accept because he has authority. I thought you were going to grow all. We, I thought we were going to grow all together, raise our grandchildren, and influence the direction that you would like them to go. I have learned a lot from you, and I will remember in particular these lessons. Respect authority if you don't respect the person. Then respect the position they hold. Do your best, even if you feel that nobody notices. Somebody is always watching, and they will be recognized. You were good with you were good with finances. You always said, "Never tell your children you have money." Pretend as if you are struggling, so that they would know they must work for your money, and they will respect money. Always be positive and optimistic in life, even if there is a dark cloud hanging around you. To my children, I would like to remember you. I would like to remind you that your father loved you and our family with all of his heart. Always remember that he was very strict yet reasonable. When you look back at the results, he carried you on his sh shoulders and celebrated you, even with the very small achievements. He had a very positive outlook to life and did not sweat the small stuff. When one complains, he would advise that one should focus on the positive side of things. He valued his home and his sanctuary and always advised that home was where. We came to seek peace and tranquility. We have experienced extraordinary love from you, and we shared your love with many others because of who you are. In your last years, in your last years in life, you recommitted yourself to God. You loved the church and introduced. I introduced you to Eagles Christian Church. You respected God, loved the church, and I'm very proud of Him for this transformation. We love you. And we'll always remember you in that Damakwe. Thank you. Thank you. We may be seated. That's a moving tribute from the wife, Ivy. This is the tape that we know that you are describing in your message. And we are grateful that we could also share him with the family. Is Sichawa here? Togo? Sichawa is not here. Silo. Silo. Silo, are you here? Okay.
in memory of our honorable MEC, Dr. Tate Mahu. I stand with pride on behalf of all learners in the Free State Province. Where would I start if I had to talk about this child? Some called him Mr. Number One, some called him Mr. Simply the Best. To us, he was the father who left no child behind. Father of the free state education. Passionate, loving, caring father indeed. Khabile bali fa une ori. Kheta ba pheta, re be re ba pheta, ba be ba tswayele. Your leadership will be seen in us. We are proud to be called the learners of the free state. To you, performance mattered, and it became the norm. You never stopped to amaze us. For that, we thank you. Your presence in our school yards was that of a father and not the MEC. The entire province held you in high regards and will always do. As free state learners, we commit to keep your life burning. One who is a fella muhaka wahuna. Your legacy will be seen in us. Rest in eternal peace. We thank you. Thank you very much, Ose Khufeze, for that tribute. Thank you very much. I did acknowledge earlier the Secretary General of the African National Congress, uh, Mr. F uh, Comrade Figi Lembalula. He has now joined us. He is now in the house. Welcome, SG. We are proceeding with our program, and I'm calling up here four speakers. Oh, Jomo, can of the Tatum and Nagarugan already? Mujoman, Mujoman, of the Tatum, the car, Kinna Jomolimpe, Kinna Gay, Kinna Jomolimpe, of the Tatum, I hope I this Mandela is in Lusaka, yes. It's Mandela is in Lusaka. It's Oliver Tambo is in Lusaka, yes. It's Oliver Tambo is in Lusaka. It's the flag and the Malayan border. It's in Lusaka. No, I can't do Lusaka. I can't resign. I just have a take. I just have a take. 1960, and the Shavili shooting, and the Bukeng, and the Sigela, and the Maza, Baya Saba, Magua. Thank you. 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 Thank Four minutes rule, Professor Silesio Maremato Institute, Johan Forstedt, former principal of Gray College, 
Nicolas Mashase Marco Investec and Pastor Cesar Honoko. Four minutes, four minutes, and four minutes. On stage. Please come up the stage. time of uh, four minutes. Well, it's going to be difficult, but I'll try. This is the man that I have known for almost 15 years, working side by side with him. He was a pioneer in ensuring that quality teaching and learning takes, and, and learning takes place in our school. He brought life and hope to small business through his commitment and dedication. I met Ndate in 2009 <clears throat> after he was elected an MEC of Education, coming from Treasury. He came to me with Dr. Mamiki Maboya. I was still employed by, by CUT. He was very excited about the new job. And then we sat in the grass just in front of Putroski Hall. I was asking myself, what kind of MEC is this one? We just said that the, that the pavement. He said, I'm excited about the new job precisely because of the impact and the nature of the job. His main aim was to change the lives of ordinary black child. MEC Mahwe gave hope to free status being in business and community. Ndate Mahwe wanted a rich and a better future for black child. He believed that our future will become incomplete without a better education. Ndatema was not shy to come down to you when he needed your advice. I'm sure that Ndatema um, Mkhadi is here, Ndatema Serumpa is here, and Ndatema Sibiruan is here. Ndatema had his own engineer, his own uh, QS, and the mess person at the back room. And myself, I was assisting him in the educational matters. We were in our mid-30s at that time, and he would always consult us whenever he wanted to make any educational decision. I'm a beneficiary of giving the opportunity by Dr. Mahwe and the then Chief Director, Dr. Mamiki Maboya. They believed in me when no one could. Regardless of how small my business was in 2009, it was just a, a side hustle. Ndate Mahwe and planted a seed in my business. Today I employ a total of 164 young teachers coming from Free State. Through him, my business continues to grow. My model was tested in the Free State province. Ndate Mahwe gave me the responsibility of supporting the great health children in improving the results in the province. We started work in September in 20, uh, 2009, and the results improved by 0.2%. Many will recall that the results at that time were announced in the morning. As I was preparing to go to the metric function, you realize that your performance this year was just 0.2% increment. That was devastating. They continued to give us uh, the opportunity. All of us will remain that Free State was ranging between 60 at that time, sitting at position two in the national ranking. Today we are at 88% plus, and we are ranking number one. Okay, thank you very much, Didi. Didi. <laughs> uh, this is Ndadema who was very uh, good.
good in convincing us. He brought the three of us, myself, Tali, and Maseru, to fundraise. We took two schools from Kwakwa to Rwanda, and we took one school to Kenya with our money, without the government money. The matric welfare function, the spelling bee, the mental math, the teachers at the ward, and all those things were done with, without the government money. Uh, on our last day, we introduced an issue of meeting every Friday to discuss some of the educational issues. Before he passed away, I called him at 3 o'clock. He did not answer my call. He came back to me at quarter past six. He said, I'm going to Houghton tomorrow. We will postpone our meeting this week to meet on Sunday afternoon after church. I was waiting to meet him after church, and I got a call in the morning, and uh, that was the sad story of my life. When reflecting on Chino, a, a, a novel, things fall apart. Sometimes life put a knife on things that held us together. And I think we have fallen apart. The glue that sticks us together is no longer here. Ndatema was a giant, a special one, and a true character. Words cannot describe how we feel and our reflection on passing of our beloved MEC. It is on this time of this nature that we must have faith and the resilience to continue that journey. As we conclude, Ndatema was the best, the best of all, and you will be so limits. Let us cherish the times and the moment that we share together. May the Lord keep the family safe and I swing as they begin to navigate this new existence. Our prayers are with the family. Go well, my brother. We will miss you. All the others who are present here today, especially Mehmet Secha, the Minister of Basic Education, I'm sure Tate would have been very happy to see you all here today. I got to know him as principal of Great College, which Junior also attended, and he was much calmer then than he is now. But he had a principal who, really looked, who looked after him and kept his head down. I think I share a vision with young Markwe and obviously with his dad. We believe that there is no such thing as other people's children. No such thing as other people's children. Children never ask to be on this earth. And we have to support them every day of our lives. And that I think they showed in many ways, practical ways. Somebody said, school is training ground for life. And that also I think is what they believed in. Training ground for life. And as the world changes, the training ground changes, so the education has to change. And if I could plead for something here, it is to use old people who are still capable of doing something. Let them do it. Tate and I discussed that quite often over. We had lunch about once a month, once every three weeks. And he loved a fed cook and mince. And he actually finished it. I never knew he could, how he could finish the thing. I couldn't. I want to thank Junior. He was the intercessor. If we wanted to talk to each other or have lunch together or whatever, I would phone Junior and he would say at what time and I'd say it's four o'clock and the MEC would be there at four o'clock. I don't know why, but he came. I think it's the influence of his son. He mustn't underestimate children's powers. There were so many good things about Tate Markway. When I went to his house the day before yesterday, I really cried because I I was so sad to see such a good man go at such a young age. A man who had, who had so much potential, so many things still to give to society, to the community, to his family. 
but God had other plans. He always set a very good example to all of us, whether we be in education or wherever else. He set a positive, exa positive example. We heard this morning about his going to church. The previous two Saturdays, in other words, two weeks ago and three weeks ago, I spent with him and Mr. Malloy, our district director, spent the time with him at the school here in Bluffenheim where there are a few problems. They took the whole of Saturday from 8 to 5, two Saturdays in succession to speak to the learners, to speak to the teachers and the parents. And they had an immense impact on that community. That's the same community he was going to come to church with on that last faithful night. I learned so much from him. You know, on, on Youth Day this year, I think it was, I asked him and Mr. Malloy to come to a school for street kids on a farm out here on the way to Marshallspoor. There are only about six or eight of them. But these two gentlemen came and they stayed there far longer than was necessary, but because they wanted to give something to the kids. And that something was themselves. I saw Tate often engaging in teachers and realized soon that he realized the importance of what they do. Is there one minute left or one minute to go? <laughs> I'm going to wait for the minute to pass and then I'll continue. <laughs> I don't know if you remember many years ago a challenger spacecraft went into space and after seven seconds it blew up there was nothing left nothing but just before they went into space i'm talking faster now <laughs> just before they went into space they wrote a, not a competition but people could apply to be the first civilian in space thousands upon thousands of people applied the one who was selected her name was linda mccauliffe and when Time Magazine interviewed her before she went up in the air, when Time Magazine asked her, what do you actually do for a living? She said the following profound words, which is as equally applicable to my friend Ted Mark. She said, I touch the future, I teach. May all teachers say that in memory of Ted. Honor. I spoke at Hans Kroenje's funeral about 20 years ago and I quoted a poem, an Afrikaans poem by the writer T. T. Kluter from Fotschersroom and I quoted the last few lines but I only, for the matter of time, I only quote one or two sentences. He said, the poem that I, that I read to the audience, in the poem he said, Sinjo in the Yemel. I have no doubt that we'll meet that again in heaven. Thank you. The Honorable Premier of the Province of Education Champions, Ndate Ngolisi Dugwana, the Honorable Minister of Basic Education, Meh Njimu Tseha, the Mahwe family and friends, Ladies and gentlemen, members of the LGBTQIA plus community, brothers and sisters, I greet you. You are in America, you are going to be in the world, 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 I do this deliberately because I know that the MEC is smiling. Just like you would be smiling at any of our gatherings, be it an award ceremony or a valediction, particularly in the province program. In fact, during our recent celebration of the class of 2022, 
The MEC promised me that next time I introduce him, he would share with him, he would share with me his clan names so that I could do a proper job at introducing him like I normally do with other speakers. Unfortunately, we plan, but God decides. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here on behalf not only of Investec, but also of Kutluanong Center for Men, Science and Technology. But above all, I'm standing here on behalf of the pro men's nation, young people across the globe who are saying to me, go and pay tribute to Ntate Ma Hwe. And I must say, it is very difficult for me to stand here today and speak about the MEC in the past tense. Very difficult. So instead of speaking about him in the past tense, I would like, with your permission and blessing, to speak to him and not about him. We have arrived. The Promets movement is here to bid you farewell. And they have given me a very difficult task of bidding you farewell. But I'm here to say to you, on behalf of all the community of Promets, that through you we have learned valuable leadership skills that no textbook could ever teach us. Through you we have learned the true definition of servant leadership. Ntatemahwe, I am here to say to you that through you today we understand what the saying mutukemutukabatu actually means. Ntatemahwe, I am here to say to you your values, your principles, your legacy shall not die. It shall continue to live through each and every one of us, through the choices that we shall continue to make, particularly in pursuit of a better future for the African child. Ntatemahwe, I am here to tell you that every lesson that you have taught us shall not be in vain. We will continue where you left off I am here to say as I speak, you have left a mark in each and every one of us. Your legacy shall not go down the drain just like that, because legends like you cannot simply die like that. They shall continue to live and multiply through all of us. Today, the sons and daughters of domestic workers are roaming hospital wards as doctors because of you. Today, exceptional lawyers are roaming courts, rooms, raising points of objections to challenge the status quo because of you. On behalf of Investec, Kutwanong and the Promets family, I am here to say that your legacy will not die. We will carry on with the values that you have left behind. As I say this in Tatemahwe, may the angels receive you with the warmth that you deserve. May the angels receive you with the dignity that you reserve because you have left a mark in all of us and your legacy shall not die. Mukhapa omuwele omuholo wele rena di thaga re la bo shogo shogo ba go logolo ba rile mahlaku a maswa a ithega ka mahlaku a matala ge le rena re tla shala re thegwa ke bomang ka gore bo ntate magwe ba re shile but rest assured that we will continue where you have left us ntate magwe may your beautiful and gentle soul continue to rest in peace we will not forget you wena le gadimana ntweng ba re ge lisa ga le gadime wena le rothi la thuto go mose ga ngwa ke bohle wele 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 good night ntata mahwe until we meet again god bless you thank you Yeah.
What's happening now? Please. What's happening now? Close that video. Close that video. Keep my hand while you are Close that video. Okay. Proceed, uh, Pastor. Premier Minister Memahwe and the family. Pastors Every time I get a bullying in Samalia, Capolo motivated somewhere on a re. Mona, give us a junior cloth, Tramona. Oh, woman, get a eh, Jamzim. Lin Nakibat or Munka, when you want to ask on a Luena can to William. Aruna, give us our born. Give us our whole king that you walk. Get a eh. When over that he looked to really matter, Mona, Arzamer, the motivator. Sebetsa mo 
Mujimu wa nishono no fazi. Ok, Johan, thank you very much. We can release you. He was pleading that he's the only white man on the program. I should give him extra time. I didn't do it. He kept on pleading, but I didn't, I didn't uh, agree to that. I am about to conclude the portion that I was allocated to run. Uh, MEC Bulwana and I were chastised seriously by the Premier for running over time, but you can, you can see Premier. I tried my level best uh, to run this program. Uh, when I was with Sis Ivy looking at this program, I was going to be a little bit of 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 I recognize Dr. Mosecha from the Royal House. I recognize Dr. Mosecha from the Royal House. I recognize Dr. Mosecha from the Royal House. I the colleagues are on a director general from the National Department of Education, Basic Education, Matanze Mamueli, and Mafura Gomez, Dr. Mafura Gomez from Umalusi, and many other of our colleagues who have congregated here with us to have, uh, uh, send this leader of us, the send off of our leader, uh, Dr. Tate Mahwe. The tide recedes, but leaves behind the bright seashells on the sand. The sun goes down, but gentle still lingers in the land. The music stops, and yet it echoes on in sweet refrains. For every joy that passes, it remains. As we get the video montage, we now, you now have the permission to run the video montage of the late MEC for Education, PHI Mahwe. And as I retreat, I hand over to MEC Mamiki Kabati to deal, deal with the last three parts of our program. I'm reminded again to request you to rise.
Kumbre jiji jimala lengu kolo. Kumbre jiji jimala lengu kolo wena. Egu dalu sabala. Egu dalu sabala. Egu dalu sabala. Egu dalu sabala. Kumbre jiji jimala lengu kolo. Thank you very much. We may be seated as I hand over to MEC Mamiki Kawati. No, uh, thank you very much, uh, DG. Um, yeah, I know you tried uh, to to cover time, uh, but in so that was a happy DG. Um, Komite tuna sasa ubina, maro one arada bina, ene one ai appreciate. Premier, ngoli si dukwa, maengi, mose kali, the minister, so the secretary, the deputy minister, our SG. The, all the members of the organization, my branch of Fela Ating, the region, the provincial uh, leadership, Maren, Aruna Ating, of Fela Kamu, uh, protocol was already uh, established. Greetings to all. Prasas Rubina. Maro one arata pina one I appreciate, but what few? Eh, baki basi wangu ni basi sasubi. Eh, Comrade Bersani kiasiwa huri is very good at singing. Look, Comrade Matabo. Eh, Comrade Mkoni sidukwa na sasubi. Our new premier, our chairperson, as if you are a Comrade Tate. But that does not mean or a rasana or binela Comrade Tate. Murutunza mkomanya muna. Mahabuja wa yona lwa leta bina nini. Apuja wa kili bina nini lwa mkomanya sisa ka muruti siya nili naki batao kena lwa hojimu. In the office of the MEC, Rekabisa Ndate TJ Ramukwasi, Anyulohe Ase Anyuloha, Le, the acting MEC in the Department of Education, MEC Magalo, Muhali. Eh, I can say more now, even so for funny, see less at the Tela Sohonu Kuhana. 
Obanye se fofane se ne se palamisi se ye mongwa di buinta te panyana za sufi ye o ile mo premier wa gauteng ye o ikilanya ba MC ya education ba seva eh ka o fela in the minmeg ya education jo le education ra tar tsa smatinyana bona eh aba ibisi minmeg Eh, abai bisa minum ya kerja lo karun, abai bisa CEM. Eh, my co eh, program director Mona, eh, umplen lahori, the deputy minister of education me Regina Mahaule, kiana ada fitisa, masih so ana ada fitiswa kita tepanyaza. Kini kiko paliena abase a atumela reki banki kabra rozwa luki tanga babang harinsi ria pili tatiram kwas. side of Dr. Tate Mahwe and uh, is still without anything. Let me respond to it. I am a 1976 detachment in Makabelani High School in Kwakwa, 1976, where I obtained my metric. I worked for some times at the chemical industry. 1989-1990, coming full time to politics of the African National Congress, I obtained a diploma in local government studies. 1993, I obtained, okay, this diploma, I must say it, this was an effort coming from Comrade Ace Mahashule. By then, he actually insisted that Ramu Khwasi coming from the factories, but you, write, you like reading and you have got a capacity, you will achieve that thing. I achieved it. Comrade Tate coming to him, BA degree at Vets University at my age. Comrade Tate, honors degree at UJ. Comrade Tate, admitted candidate in master's degree, UJ. Thank you. Let me pass our office condolences to the bereaved family, Nemahwe and all other families attached to you as the office, we say, oh, it's been a very, very enjoying moment to be with your husband for that time. And uh, we are now empowered. We want to say, baby, 
Potaloka, Rente Relating, Joilo Badena. And uh, let me touch on this one. On Thursday that week, coming back from a call by his beloved organization, the African National Congress Caucus of the province, one o'clock came to the office, called me, Madiba, come, let's talk, as he usually called me, Madiba. Where is Piwe? His private secretary said he's out for lunch, he said, come. Now, when we sit and don't have discuss meetings in his office, we sit on the lodge, on the sofas, and talk. And he said, hey, man, we come in there from the African National Congress, but the announcement is not made, so let me relieve your fears and tell the staff, it was on Thursday, tell them that no announcement so far, but let me tell you, Madiba, I think and believe that even if there will be a reshuffle, I don't think that they will completely take us out. They rather shift us to the other department. It won't be uh, complete. Yes. And he said, don't stress and tell Piwe, be calm, continue with your job. Thank you very much. And we had to revisit our program of the week because he was not going to make it on Friday and we pushed the appointment to Saturday. The appointment, he came, he was coming back from on Saturday night. It was a, a shifted appointment. But program director allow me to open the doors for the acting MEC who's coming. That's why you saw me waiting for him coming with him up here. Because I want to publicly, I want to publicly hand over the office with the status quo. And he stands like this. As a local government practitioner in South Africa, and Free State in particular, it was great honor to me to be appointed as a director and stakeholder relations officer in the political office of Dr. Tate Mahwe, a position of serious responsibilities when it comes to community participation and involvement of parents, non-governmental organizations, business sector, religious fraternal, etc., in the education of their beloved children of South Africa. Program director, allow me to articulate the support played by the political office of the late MEC Dr. Tate Mahwe in the past four years since 2019 to date. We launched the Quality Learning and Teaching Council in the province to provide a platform for communities and broader society to be actively and constructively involved in the improvement of teaching and learning in order to achieve the best and quality results always. Program Director, the following pillars of the QLTC were successfully achieved in the past four years of my incumbency in the political office under the stewardship of the Honorable Tate Mahwe. Program Director, on the 24th, the political office held its first New Year meeting at Puloa Special School and the following resolutions were taken. MEC reiterated his position regarding his satisfaction on the good performance of officials in the office, e.g. eradication of irregular expenditure, wasteful expenditure and fruitless expenditure. MEC Tate Mahwa emphasized the importance of studying by all members of staff who don't possess a diploma or degree qualifications so that they are on the safe side if any eventuality occurs and is not around. The last one, program director, MEC requested us to declare 2023 as the year of national elections and every one of us in the office prepare himself 
or herself to help and support the ANC to win the coming national elections. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, program directors. I've taken note of your time constraints. I'll try to cooperate as such. Uh, to you, the honorable, uh, to you, the program directors, to the premier of uh, the Free State, the Dedukwana, the minister, uh, the secretary general of the African National Congress, and let me observe protocol as uh, has been established. Due to time, I'd just like to take the opportunity on behalf of the department to thank the families on this great life of Ndade Mahwe for having allowed him to contribute immensely in education because Ndade Mahwe was exemplary and epitome of excellence. And Ndade Mahwe, we so much wish that all the public servants can take you from how he has done his work. For the public servants to honor him and to keep his smile even in his grave, there's nothing much I think that they can do other than doing exactly what he was doing. So we appeal to all of us who are in the public service in making or in ensuring that that smile is still there forever. Let's just do our work with diligence. Secondly, Ndate Mahwe has always knew very well what he was sent there to do. Ndate Mahwe in his heart had the poorest of the poor that is why when you got to the department, he was not just part of the routine, but he had the urge to make a change. So for us as the leaders, for us as the department, I think we are taking from him that when you are given a task, you are not just going to be there to fill a vacancy, or you are not just there to fill a position, you are not just there because the advert was there, therefore with you, you are just a homebody there but you must always strive to make a change in the lives of the poor. As I'm about to conclude, Program Director, I want to say that the Mahwe has made education, has reclaimed the position of education in society. He has made education to be easily understood by everyone when he, in his famous words, that education is a societal issue. It's not only the responsibility of the Department of Education. I would like to plead with everyone amongst us to continue contributing to the education. And you don't need to have money to contribute to the education. You can contribute to the education in various ways. When you are a municipal worker, we want you to do your job diligently because when you provide water, when you provide basic services, that affects and contributes to the education. So when you are a municipal worker, you must know that the lack of service affects education because the children won't be able to have water that they need. The children won't be able to have a conducive environment because Therefore, we appeal that everyone who is doing his job do that with diligence and commitment. At the back of your mind, you must know that the harder you work is the more positive you also contribute to the education uh, system. We also want to appeal to everyone that our education system, our young people are now under attack. We can't maintain the legacy when we don't protect this legacy or we don't protect our schooling system against all of these wrong evil things that are happening. Ndato Mahwe wants us to see the excellence of a black child. But currently, our young people are under attack because the drug laws are pouncing on them, even in the schoolyard. It can be correct that as a society which loves education, 
we make that matter a police issue. So we appeal to everyone that if you are a responsible member of society and you really want to keep that smile, please join hands to ensure that there can't be any act of criminality that takes place while we are still there. There can't be an act of vandalism to this property which has been acquired with scarce resources while members of society are there. So having said that, we'd like to thank Tate Mahwe and the family for making education fashionable. We want to thank everyone, particularly the Premier of the Free State. It was very difficult on Monday when we met the senior management, but I think everyone knows how the Premier of the Free State is. You'll always make things quite easier, and I think after that input, uh, the colleagues were a little bit uh, comforted. So in ensuring that we keep this legacy, I would like to appeal to all of you that let's raise the bar. We have the jewel that Ndaitema has left for the department. And as a department, we would like to continue keeping this jewel because this jewel of education is the one that even the poorest of the poor, it can be their hope that they can use to change their lives. I would like to thank everyone on behalf of the department for giving support to the program director, but most importantly, our speaker of the legislature kino ke kopa e e o ka onyolo he le professor shan shan shin eh le wena eh professor can you ascend the stray prof shan shan shin eh de video ko di anya le fela se tshaba a re fela sa se
National Congress, as well as the DG of the Department of Basic Education. My name is Regina Mhaule. I'm the Deputy Minister for Basic Education in South Africa. So now I'm taking Regina off. I'm wearing the Premier of Gauteng. Now the Premier is speaking. Oh, my Premier, oh, Regina again. Premier, good morning to you, the Premier of my province, where I'm deployed, Northern Cape. The Premier of Houghton comes back. <laughs> Program Director, the Mahwe family, leadership of the church and the traditional leaders, the Premier of the Free State, Mr. Mkoli Situkwana, Minister of, and Deputy Ministers, the members of parliament, MECs, and members of the provincial legislature and other legislatures, executive mayors, MMCs, business fraternity, fellow mourners, good morning. We join the multiple of our people and endless list of various formations and organizations in extending our sincere, sincerest condolences to the Mahwe family. We stand here as the Gauteng, as the Gauteng, the Premier is speaking now. We stand here as the Gauteng provincial government to declare that we used to cherish, what we used to cherish has left us. What we used to celebrate is no more. What used to be around us is no longer around us. I come here limping and speechless. I come here hurt and disturbed. I come here lost and disorientated. I come here driven by pain and regret. One person made us all to come together today, but that person is not here with us, only his remains are with us. One person made us all to have questions, but that person is not here to provide answers. A combatant of the people's army, a committed cadre of our movement, a revolutionary cadre of our education uh, struggles, a comrade and activist of community empowerment, our MEC, our champion, simply the best. Here we are again, 
possible drowning in our tears as we bid farewell to another cadre of our movement. Should I accept the mandate to stand here and say goodbye to Tate? Should I execute the assignment to bid you farewell, my friend? Should I honor this task to speak to you in the past tense? If I refuse, who will do it? The years have taken their turn as one of our, one of our leaders pass on. Every time it feels as a part of oneself is being cut off. None of those cuts could nature could have been more painful than the loss of the dear friends. Comrades, you, my leader, comrade Tate Mahoy. Before us lie a revolutionary cadre, a brave one, a dedicated one, a clear minded one, a, an ideological astute of upright. When your heart sees to beat commentate, our hearts were in pain. When you stopped breathing, commentate, your tears, our tears never stopped rolling. When you lied there emotionless, our emotions ran out of control because we knew without you will be empty and leaderless. It is difficult to describe the pain and sadness in my heart as I bid goodbye to a dear colleague, leader, and comforter of society, a brother with whom I shared so much over a long period of time. You are so much more than an MEC. You are part of my well-being, you, my surroundings, and my work. We, te we tested each other. We teased each other. We cared for the education of our children. We competed heavily. We competed heavily. We competed heavily. I conquered once. You conquered forever. <laughs> I consoled myself by declaring, yeah, I am a daughter, I pay. You responded by saying, Indeed, and we will always remember you when we release those results. You were simply the best. What struck me, uh, what struck me always about Comrade Tate has absolute humility. There was no one, there was no pretension and sense of self-importance. There was no arrogance, only warmth and comradeship and that smile. There was no pettiness, only maturity, deep wisdom and vision. It is these qualities of humility, selflessness, integrity, self-sacrifice and dedication that we honor him today. This is what we should emulate in our lives. As we lay him to rest, we must restore our faith in our people to build an education system for all, an education system that empowers, an education system that truly embraces a non-racialism, non-sexism, and prosperous South Africa. Go well, my dear brother. Go well, Mambudi, people's champion, simply the best. Your, your, your presence will be missed dearly. Be assured of our commitment to serve and defend our freedom. Never will, be, never will we betray you by surrender, su surrendering uh, this freedom to our enemies, to the family, and to the government of the free state. Time is the best healer. With time, we'll accept that he's no more. Just remember this, our pain will pass, uh, our pain will pass, count on our support as Gauteng province all the time. I'm told, like birds, when one is short and is limping, other birds will also start to limp so that 
the enemy doesn't know exactly which bed is limping. Today, all of us here are limping, and we are one. We are the Makwe family. May God bless you all. Thank you. Dear sister Yvie, uh, my niece Mick, and also my nephew uh, Julia and Nash, uh, other family members, uh, honorable premier uh, of priestess, and honorable minister of bishop of education, uh, comrades, brothers, and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. This is Park uh, I'm from UNISA and also the chairperson of ACASA. ACASA is an association of China, Africa, smallholder, agriculture. I have, I have two um, hometowns. The first one is China. The second one, I am from Limbobo. I am Winter guy. And uh, my brother and comrade, Dr. Teach, advised me I should come to Blue Fountain, to become a Blue Fountain boy. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, met, I know um, my comrade, Dr. Teach, uh, roughly two years ago. But we didn't see each other due to the pandemic. After I came back to South Africa, so we want to do some collaboration to benefit, to benefit the stakeholders in first states while the collaboration between China and South Africa. So last week, Dr. Teach said, so he want to visit me. And last Saturday afternoon, at roughly half past one, we met. And we discussed a lot of collaboration, the potential collaboration between South Africa and China, between Free State and China. So we know Free State is a sister city with Jiangsu province, Hubei province, and Fujian province. Yes, we have MOU there. After this pandemic, we, we, we want to do our best to do some collaboration, including the high technology transfer training for the youth and women, etc. We want to do the training of ed education. We want to send our students, our youth to China to get education. And we also want to do the high technology agriculture center in first stage. And our mission until roughly quarter past five, yeah, is Roughly four hours last Saturday afternoon. You know, Doc Teach, our comrade, he didn't get the lunch. After, the, after this meeting, you know, as Chinese, I want to invite him to have food at Future Africa, but he refused because he was hired to another meeting. At that night, I didn't sleep, sleep, well, sleep well. In the morning, at 6 o'clock, when I wake up, I open my WhatsApp, I get news from my best friend, Prof. Victor Mbengwa. You know, our comrade and leadership, Dr. Dr. Teach, just passed away. I cannot believe, just I speak myself heavily. I also open Google, I know. I know it's truth. But I think it, our God also, also indicated me I should re, re, report this to our honorable pre premier of uh, prestige. Our comrade, Dr. Teach, worked so hard for our, for our free seat and for our country. You know, this is my first time to come to free seat, to come to Blue Fountain. But 
using this way. It's my first time to come to the funeral. Now I want to treat my comrade, my friends, my leadership, and my big brother, doctors, use my own way to treat our parents. So my family member, please allow me to use my way to treat my comrade and the leadership, Dr. Teach. Thank you. Finally, I want to see our family please remain strong. And Dr. Teach, we will continue your legacy. I hope South Africa, China, friendship, long live. Free speech, China friendship, long live. Thank you. Thank you, Program Director. Greetings to Mahwe and Hayane families. Let me also acknowledge the Premier of the Free State, Honorable Boris Dugwana, and also acknowledge the Minister for Basic Education, Mayor Enji Musekha. Let me acknowledge the protocol as established by the program directors. Program director, we've spent this past week reminiscing about the life of Honorable Tate Mahwe. We've been reading and orating the book of his life as he lived with us and among us. Today is the day that we read this last, last chapter, the last chapter as he put his pen down on the 5th of March, 2023, just like a student told by an invigilator in an examination that your time is up. At the airport, there is arrivals terminal and there is departure terminal. He arrived to start his journey as a visitor on this earth on the day he was born, on the 12th of May, 1963. Many saw him grow up, start schooling, joining politics, and eventually became one of men and women who led when this country obtained its political freedom. He had a purpose to serve, an assignment to execute, and he did that diligently. He spent almost of his life on earth in helping to shape South Africa to be what was envisaged. Worked tirelessly going through trials and tribulations because life has its own turbulences. Yes, at the end, when he was done, when his days as a visitor on this earth came to an end, he went back to the departures terminal and off he flew. Job in chapter 14 gives us this understanding about life and death. He says, man born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. He springs like a flower and withers away like a fleeting shadow. As the legislature, we have lost a treasure, an asset, and a wise man. But we will remember his teachings, which some were in his actions, the way he did things, and the way he conducted himself. We find ourselves here today because life is designed as such. Birth and death are the contradictions of life. Light and darkness are part of our daily lives. With birth comes joy and happiness. With death comes pain and sorrow. As Job says, my days are swifter than a weaver's shadow and they come to an end without any hope. Life is just about one breath. The eyes that see me now will see me no more, will see me no longer. 
You will look for me, but I will be no more. We wish to say to the family and friends, Pe Pihle, the pleasant memories you have about him will always be with you. Thank you for giving him to the people to be their servant till his last day. We pray that you find peace and comfort. He's at a better place where there is no pain, no sorrow. He played his part, finished his assignment on earth, let him go and rest in peace as he put his pen down. I thank you, Program Director. I was not sure now. We don't understand that I can't play a game like this. Mara, oh my God, you got one good deal. You're so catchy, you're short, you're born again. Aye, sign language international. Eh, recently, Plata, Rekana, Mkhakelo, Omong. Rekana, Mkhakelo, Omong, eh, kito. Kau pada bawa na hal yang bawa nak kira, hari beli sabi sana mau lezbor kaya indikasi dah hor. Ayo kon, if ejil nak kau jual, le abah na organisasi selekan kani seri afternoon jual. Kita bisa sakit peri, a member of Mkondo Sizwe, Comrade Ben Sidiani, who was an MK. Cell leader. Uh, Ake, Anyuro Hale, a member of the ANC Veterans League, Comrade Madang, who is the provincial secretary of the Veterans League. Anyuro He, Le, Comrade Cesar Mdolo from the SACP, and Comrade Munyazo Matazi from COSAT. Oliva, Oliva, we tambo, we tambo, tina se kochi we kaya. Oliva, Oliva, we tambo, we tambo, tina se kochi we kaya. Iza balaza, iza balaza, iza balaza. Oliva, Oliva, we tambo, we tambo. Tina <laughs> Zabalaz.
one typo that has been made here. I am part of the machinery of the MK, which Comrade Tate served in. I'm not a cell leader, and the commander of the unit is not feeling well. He can't make it. He couldn't make it today. But outside, he, he passed his condolences to the family. Uh, today we are brought together as one from all walks of life by one whose memories will forever remain engraved in our minds and souls eternally. We are united by the untimely death of soldier who put all his life to free the country from the bondage of apartheid colonialism and give, gave his life to the service of his people. We are congregated in this solemn hall here today at the occasion of Tate Mahfoy, whose life has been shortened miraculously. That time amplifies the consequence of the character of this funeral, because Tate is being buried by the government and the people of this country, who have implicit obligation for, his service, for this service and this occasion. For if it was ever necessary for our people to demonstrate their commitment to our struggle, no better method could have been found than to take this single militant of our struggle and give him a provincial funeral. Consequently, while we mourn the departure of Comrade Tate, because it occurs in the context of our ongoing renewal project, it has been occasion for the further consolidation of unity that bind the ANC and the people together. Let me thank Comrade Premier House IV and the government for this act of participation in the burial of this gallant soldier. 
Comrade Tate entered the struggle in his early youth days. It was during this heightened repression inflicted by our by the apartheid secular class during the time of the Nationalist Party. It was a period when all youths were called to action against the repressive regime for a new phase in the struggle for liberation in South Africa. The phase of his opposition to the racist regime whose apartheid policy was offensive. Perhaps in answering one of the questions or challenge which was posed by one of the previous speakers of when one contacted the head contact with Comrade Tate. My first contact with Comrade Tate was in 84, which was the commencement of a period of great political upheavals in our struggle, a period that was to prove most decisive in the general position and the general position of our political advancement as a movement. We traversed the journey together, inspired by the words of Albert Camus, when he said, Do not walk in front of me. I may not lead. Walk beside me. Just be my friend. Oh, yes, our underground and above board journey was full of moments. The decade of 80s saw the escalation of our state system and Tate. Execute, executed all the mission very well and with precision. In that process, he was educating the masses of our people about the task we executed, that situation helping to unite them in struggle. He loved his people, which took him to those places where people were suffering, most of the things that were unknown. By virtue by virtue of it, this, this caliber as a militant comrade Tate was one of the cadres to be recruited into the underground machinery and became part of the unit which operated in the Val Triangle area, the then Val Triangle area, and part of the Northern Free State. His laborious self-discipline qualified him to, sell, to survive the sophisticated observance of the South African racist police for many years, during which he engaged in full-time underground work. He worked firstly to in, in inculcate a high level of discipline among all the units. As part of that underground missionary, he was sent for military training as was mentioned earlier. The missionary which was under the military command of uh, Comrade Temba Ngavi, the allies, Juke Nongaga, which then included Comrade Neo Maere, Tom Lesson, the late Tom Lesson, Victor Hiba, and myself. Late in the 1980s, late in 1986, the unit suffered a heavy blow when his members were detained under Section 21 of the Internal Security Act, and subsequently Tate was sentenced to five years at Sun City for terrorism and Federating the aims of the pen organization, then, which was ANC. Yeah. Comrade Ted leaves a record in our cycle, which will be surpassed by few. He has certainly a position a season political leaders of outstanding ability. I will therefore appeal to the people assembled here today and to his organization to be prepared for situation which the void to in which the void he left will never will need to be filled with extreme and cautious and caution. To outside you, here are the lyrics to keep you closer to your lover. Now you are gone. I realize my love for you are you are strong. You are strong and I miss you. Now you are gone. I keep waiting here by the phone with your pictures hanging on the wall. Now you are born, I realize my love. You are strong, you are, I, I miss you here. Yeah. Now you are born, I keep waiting here by the phone with your pictures hanging on the wall. In this way, it is meant to be, only dreaming that you are missing me. I'm waiting here at, your, at home. I'll be crazy now you are born. There's an empty place in my heart without my honor. 
it will break apart, it won't heal. It never fades away. I'll be thinking about you every day. To the children, Palesa, Chungandu kuna, Chungandu kuzako. Mikey, take care of your mom. Junior, take care of your siblings. As I conclude, Program Director, as you make your way to your ancestors and our revolutionary ancestors, Tate, kindly tell them of our plight to renew the movement they work so hard to build and sustain. Tell them that our old ANC we are striving to rebuild, the new ANC under the renewal project, and the monsters within are at play to disrupt the project. Tell them that in its entire history, the ANC had undergone, undergone innumerable challenges, challenging epochs, but managed to survive. Put it to them that even the current phase will come to pass, and the survival will be the ANC. As you present the plight of the ANC generously, put it to them that the monster within has developed the extra, extra, extraterrestrial tendency of telling lies. Tell them that the very same monsters use the ANC platform and their position to verify others. As you tell them that, Comrade leave all of us behind, had a, all of us had an unfamotable scar, your progenies, your progenies, the entire family and the society at large will always long for that unending life conversation with you. The future is bright, the end is glorious, it is peaceful, but the inter intervening period is dark. Peter and find its glory in the act of struggle. Tate Mahwe is part of the glorious part of the ANC. Go well, Pule. Go well, Herbert. Go well, Isaac. Go well, soldier. Good night. Till we meet again in the morning. Thank you, program. When he was the treasurer general, 
when they laid the animal was buried or one of his memorial services, uh, the governor of the reserve back, uh, said, Collins Chaban, the animal, didn't believe there was nothing that was so-called struggle bookkeeping. There was only bookkeeping, no struggle bookkeeping. Struggle, struggle bookkeeping means bushu. Uno uno mtu achelele. For what you can struggle bookkeeping. Tei tu nasa tamaika struggle bookkeeping. I was told by one more of a literary detachment that the that the Moses Kotane held the pass in the 60s. On the game, the struggle bookkeeping. That's what kept the ANC united around those times. Where did I first meet TG? February Monabuwa, on a part. I was in Uganda, I was in the DG, I was Kinekitomule that's where I met Happy, Tate, and Lista. Felara Tata in Botols, I mean, Makasia Mosi, Raya Haka, my then wife, Arunik Setsa Dijo, we ate. She been in the political education the whole night. But I was about the following morning on Castro, Professor Barnard, who is Lisa South Africa. We sat at my place. And it was a good political education because it was a mix of people from inside the country and ourselves. Tate as a uh, coordinator of elections in the Northern Free State. We had a very strong uh, regional organizing department there. Our organizing department meetings on Mondays was a back-to-school meeting. We debated, we put reports, and the reports, were, uh, the reports were scrutinized. There was criticism and self-criticism. Tate attended the ROD chaired by, the, I mean by the then sec uh, Secretary of the Region, Pat Matosa. And in the ROD, we were, if you like, equal. We criticized everyone. The organizers, the late Lewela Mudisenyan, Spider, no? Spider, Spider, no? Yeah. Zepori, Richard Alexander and myself. Every Monday at ROD, Tate will be ordinary. He won't be an official. He'll be one of us. He will take as much as we give and vice versa. He never had superiority complex. He never saw himself as a, a a leader who cannot be, you know, criticized. In 2009, when he went to education, he told me, when I asked me how are things at education, he said the biggest problem when he arrived was litigation. The department was always in call over one thing or the other. He wanted to stop that. I think Tate being Tate, Tate being a finance man, he was worried that the resources are not going to 
the place where they will be, where they will make impact to our people. So that was his first mission. His first mission was to deal with litigation at the, at the university. When there were those upheavals, those who have been, who have been in the ANC at that time, you would know. There were rocky times during the premiership of Terra, all the way up to probably not so far back. Every time, every time when those here, well, when we meet those upheavals, Chaitan Kwamukin, he will go to his books. He will read. After the upheavals, he'll come back. He has attained some, some, some level. Yeah, I mean, qualifications. Now, the reason I had a fight with Tate with his audit or honorary degree. It's not because we, uh, I, I was looking down to honorary degree, I mean honorary PhD, I mean doctorate. If we were also among Nagaru there, the reason is that the timing, this timing was wrong. The timing of him getting that degree was wrong because PhDs were being sold left and right and center. So he got his honorary degree at a wrong time. That's why I had a fight with him. I said to him, look, all along, how Kwamoka you go to your books, PhD you can get is nothing to you. You have the capacity. I will never call you Dr. Mark with myself. To my horror, Tuesday when we were at the family, one of the family members told me that uh, when the Honorable Premier was, was, uh, uh, was making his state of the province at the legislature, thereafter Tate left and went to his office to go and write assignments. It hit me very hard. It hit me very hard because it was saying he had to. He was studying, he wanted to come back to you and throw, you, and throw, and throw his, his certificate in your face. I mean, in my face. Junior. Oh, no, let me start with your mother, Julia. Where I first met uh, Mayor Ivy, I was at my side, I went to Tate's office. Then I had never seen Tate that happy. Brought smile, and Mayor Ivy, when I could not really get the uniform as a high school nurse, and I lived in Trozena, Simona. So Tate was in a cell here and I'm playing out here, 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 here. I knew then immediately that Tate is hooked, is hooked forever. Junior, your father, I mean, gave me a, a mission when you were young and chubby to take you along when I go to my exercises and my road blocks. That mission was never fulfilled. If you are still up for the attention, I mean for the challenge, you can see it's me who's chubby. I've started, I'm running, you must join me. One day when he visited me, there was a call he received. He said, Mr. Mahwe, I knew immediately it should be his son. They talked for a couple of minutes. Thereafter, he showed me something, some electronic gadget, very proud. 
He was saying his son and, and his team had developed that electronic device. I don't know what it does. They were going to the Antarctica to go and test it. Know your father, love to your father. He loved to move all his son. If you want to know more, let me talk directly to TG. TG is social call. When you arrive wherever you are going, first thing you do, seek an ANC branch and join the ANC. Secondly, join MK Liberation, uh, Liberation War Veterans. And lastly, or before lastly, you were just about to succeed to, uh, 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 to qualify as a veteran. You must not hurry. After your birthday, you will qualify and join a veteran's lead up there. Lastly, Go to MK's first commander-in-chief and the last commander-in-chief and salute and tell him that, yes, he left us in 2013 when we were in the thick of the nine weeks that, yes, he left this country head because Oliver Tamo gave him a united and strong agency. When he left, what he saw of his organization, what he saw of his government, he died an unhappy man. But tell me, we are still up. The agency is throwing itself back slowly but surely. We will get it right. You said to me when I was going to the national conference uh, last year, when I said, hey, I'm going to the uh, national conference for the first time, I don't know after how many years. I said, no, it's not, it's not uh, how many years, it's in 20, uh, 20, 2007. Go and fetch the ANC that we left in 2007 in Colopani and bring it back home. Thank you very much. Manda, long live ANC, long live. Long live the undying spirit of Comrade Tate Mahwe, long live. Long live the undying spirit of Tate Mahwe, long live. Amanda, Aluta, Continua. Tenam se vence tena. Tenam se vence tena. No, thank you very much, uh, Program Director. My name is Howell Mkavisa. I'm the Program Secretary of Nehau, a PC member of COSAT. I stand here representing Kosatu, standing in for Comrade Munyato Wamakati, precisely because of his ill health. He would not make it here today. It is therefore from that account in which I'll be the mouthpiece of the Federation in the Free State here. Comrades, let me take this opportunity to recognize the leadership of African National Congress led by the Secretary General present here, the leadership of African National Congress at the level of the province here under the stewardship of the chairperson of the province, Comrade Mkulesi Dukwan, and his entire PC members present here today. South African Communist Party leadership, MKVA leadership, Veterans League leadership, Women's League, ANC Youth League. We want to salute you with the spirit of comradeship, the spirit that has been interpreted by our four, four, four years. 
Comrades will therefore deem it suicidal not to acknowledge and give respect to the bereaved family members of Mahwe family and those that are related to the family of Comrade Tate Mahwe. Comrades, as, as we convey our heartfelt condolences as a federation, would want to be very precise, brief, sincere, and get seated. Comrades, we are here today as a federation to, to convey our heartfelt condolences to the family of Mahwe, the family of African National Congress. We, we are here today qualified by the marriage that we have entered into with African National Congress as alliance partnership in the province here. We are here precisely because we had two affiliates from the Federation which were recruiting in the Department of Education which are affiliated to COSAT, which is SATU and NEHAO. We are here precisely because there is a recognition agreement in the department and with those two affiliates that I've mentioned. Comrades, we came here to express our profound grief at the loss of an able and inspiring leader, a dedicated servant of the people, Comrade Tate was an embodiment of, a, of qualities that are rarely found in one person, a fearless but humble freedom fighter, astute educator, unifier, and a problem solver, a great giant indeed. The best way to sum up Comrade Tate Mahwe life is to say he was an accomplished revolutionary in the fullest sense of the word. He did everything to change the free state in order to leave it a better place than he found it. This comrade has raised free state flag very high through the best performance of the Matrukilans in three consecutive years. We want to assure you that he died a happy man, this one. I want to quote one of the books written by Karl Marx, The Reflection of a Young Man on a Choice of a Profession. I want to quote. History call those men the greatest who have enabled themselves by working for common good. Experience acclaims as happiest, a man who has made the greatest number of people happy. And you should know that that man is happy. That is Comrade Tate Mahwe. He died a happy man precisely because he has changed, he has touched a number of lives in this province here. An entire country. Comrades, it is like a teacher in a class when you are to get the results of how did your learners perform and you realize that they have performed to the standard that you did not expect as, a, as an educator. You become a happiest person even than a parent of that child. You become happy precisely because that will be the demonstration that your efforts did not go in vain as an educator. So Comrade Tate, he died a happiest man in this province. Comrade Premier, as the working class was saying, we understand and we respect the fact that you've got a prerogative to appoint the executive council. 
but was saying to you, we want men and women of high moral stamina. We want men and women of stoical discipline. We want men and women who will be selfless and serve the people of this province. This time around we are saying we will not allow to be consulted but we want to be part of those processes such that we are able to own up the product that will come out after we have appointed those comrades. We want to be part of those processes of appointing men and women who will be dedicated to serve this province with distinction. We want to own up that product as a federation. We are not going to fold hands and watch when those processes unfold. We want to be the ones who are blamed to say that you have recommended so and so in that position. You have recommended so and so in that position. Now look how we see performing. Congress, Premier, we want to echo your sentiments when you said most of worker leaders that are appointed in government positions, they are the ones who start to undermine the working class, who start to undermine the soft stewards, who undermine the collective agreement that we have with respective departments. We want to challenge all those that are coming from the, from the Federation, from South African Communist Party, to say that when you go there, after we have recommended, you must not forget where you are coming from. We'll keep you accountable, like the Comrade Tate used to be accountable to the class that has elected him, the class that has recommended him. Program Director, as I conclude, I want to challenge the Secretary General that the collective bargaining it is under attack. The collective bargaining it is under attack under the ANC-led government. The hard end gains of collective bargaining are reversed. We are not going to keep quiet whilst those hard-earned gains of collective bargainings are undermined. The public servants on the 6th of March went to a strike wherein they registered their discontent about the manner of which collective bargaining it is treated. Resolution 1 of 2018 was never implemented at its entirety. That is the concern that we want to raise as the workers. The 3% that was implemented to the public servants, it was the 3% that was unilaterally implemented. That is a sign of undermining a collective bargaining. We are not going to allow that. As I conclude, Program Director, we are saying a collective bargaining cannot be subjected to the, to, to, to the cause. We know a platform wherein we need to negotiate for salary increase. Congress, let me take this opportunity to say to the family of Mahwe, Khutang Liri Tu, Hoban Twali Fatah Ali TV, Jehovah Otalan Wane. Comrade Tate Mahwe, Hamaya Wapumina Kahot, Manda! Amansha, Amansha, long live the anti spirit of corporate aid, long live, long live the anti spirit of corporate aid, long live, 
Long live the Tripartite Alliance, long live. Long live the Tripartite Alliance, long live. Amanda. The Premier of the Free State and the Chairperson of the African National Congress, Comrade Mkolisi Dugan. The Honorable Minister of Basic Education, Comrade N.G. Mutsecha. The family of Comrade Tate Mahwe, Sis Ivy, and the children. The SG, Comrade Vuta, SG of our glorious movement, the African National Congress. The Deputy Speaker of the Legis of, of the part of Parliament, the National Assembly, Comrade Echisa Tenodi, the Central Committee Member and the Politburo Member, the Provincial Officials of the ANC and the Tripartite and the Tripartite Alliance as a whole. Let me just say all protocol is uh, all protocols are observed. It is, it is with heavy hearts that we gather here today to bid final farewell to one of the most dedicated and loyal cadres of our African National Congress and the broader liberation movement. The news of his untimely passing came as a great shock, and even today we feel its weight upon us. A cloud of sadness has descended upon the Free State people and on the entire South African nation. We have lost a great revolutionary. Frederick Engels said at the burial of Kalmax on 17 March 1883, I quote, his name will endure through the ages and so, and so also will his work, close quote. Certainly, this will, be, this will be with Comrade Tate. His name and greatest works and achievements will endure through the ages. Comrade Tate's passing is a reminder of the shortness of our life on this earth. It is a reminder to us to spend life wisely and to the fullest and being of service to others and the nation at large, as complicated did. The Mahwe family has lost a husband, a father, a brother, and a friend. As the province, we have lost an activist, a revolutionary, and a solid pillar of the education community. We take this opportunity as the South African Communist Party to, to express our most profound, sincere, deep, deepest condolences to the Mahwe family and the, and, the, and, and the peoples of the Free State, we are saddened. Indeed, Comrade Aid's passing away is a huge, is a huge loss to the ANC-led Trapatak Alliance. Like all dedicated revolutionaries, driven by hatred of all forms of oppression and exploitation. Comrade had a kind heart and deep feelings of love for his people in general, particularly the education fraternity and the poor of our country. As a person, he was always generous and selfishness, and selfishness was a foreign concept or practice to him. He was truly driven by all these values, and that is what made him a revolutionary and a combatant of the National Democratic Revolution. We are celebrating a, a revolutionary life, a life dedicated to fighting injustices and serving humanity. He was part of the Young Lions, that all armed tambo called to make South Africa ungovernable and apartheid unworkable. These are the same comrades who had the responsibility to build the new country after the ruins of the apartheid system. Of those who, 
of, of those who undertook this task, we can all say that Tate Mahe was one of the best. Conrad Tate was a consummate revolutionary who knew that, I quote, there's no, there's no such thing as neutral education. Education either functions as an instrument to bring about conformity or freedom. That is why his quest was always for free and equal education, irrespective of race, creed, or color. That is why his quest was always for free and equal education. For him, the poor, the poor child was a capable as the affluent child, only if education was used as the equalizer of opportunities. Whenever we engaged with Comrade it was clear that he lived the teachings of Paulo, of Paulo Freire, who wrote in that seminal work, the, pedagogy, the Pedagogue of the Oppressed, that I quote, leaders who do not act ideologically, but insist on imposing their decisions. Do not organize the people. They manipulate them. They do not liberate, nor they are liberated. They oppress. Comrade Tate was the liberator of the oppressed, not their oppressor or even the aider of, the, of their oppressor. Through excellence in education, he liberated the masses to understand, to understand like, Fre like Frey once more said that, one cannot expect positive results from an educational or a political action program, which fails to respect the particular view of the world held by the people. Such a program constitutes cultural invasion, good intentions notwithstanding, close quote. He understood that the people aspire for the promises of the Freedom Charter, that the doors of learning and culture shall be opened, through which the ultimate aim of education can be realized, which is to teach the youth to love their people and their culture, to, to honor human brotherhood, liberty, and peace, and that education shall be free, compulsory, universal, and equal for all children. As the Communist Party, we acknowledge that Comrade Tate was not a member of the party, but he was what we call a patriot, what we call a national democrat. He was what we call a revolutionary who found common cause, even those that he would have differed with and not agreed with ideologically. He understood us as communists that we want a different society. He may not even have wanted that society but understood that we have a legitimate place to play a role in South Africa, even in the current task of the National Democratic Revolution. We as a communist, as communists have an important role to play. That is why, that is, that is why he was never or could never be accused of being anti-communist. In our experience, Comrade Tate was a true cadre with utmost revolutionary morality and discipline. While we knew that he was engaged in business, we also sensed that he separated his business interest from his political office and influence. We believe he did not use his immense political influence for corruption, business deals that deprived the people but benefit him and his cohorts. That is why Ho Chi Minh the Revolutionary North Vietnamese president wrote to the, people, to the people's public security forces to practice the moral character of a revolutionary. He said, I quote, for myself, be hardworking, thrifty, clean, and fortright. For a colleague, be cordial and helpful. For government, be loyal. For people, be respectful and polite. For the work, be committed. For the enemy, be determined and smart. This was the essence of the revolutionary morality 
that complicated espouse. We call on all leaders of the mass democratic movement to emulate his revolutionary character, draw his life's example that which was progressive for humanity and eschew what were, what eschew that which was regressive. Long live Dead Mahwe, long live. Amanda, away too. Umande luti mechome. Umande luti mechome chasela. Osi aya, umkondo wese zelusaka. Ose solo taishoma. Ose solo taishoma chasela. Ose aya, umkondo wese zelusaka. Umande luti mechome. Amanda, 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 long live the undying spirit of Tate Mahwe, long live. Long live the undying spirit of Comrade Tate Mahwe, long live. Viva ANC, viva. Viva ANC, viva. Comrades, uh, I think uh, time is against us. Our apologies to the family, to the bereaved family, Aus IV, Liban. Your father was a hero of our people. Your father was a revolutionary. I dare say, like Tupac Shaku will say, as you tried to characterize your father, from a garden boy. Tupac assists us further to say is a rose that grew from concrete. I dare say your father and your husband represent human is a paragon of human perfection. He was a revolutionary amongst the cadership leaders and activists of the African National Congress. As the ANC, we are saying to you, draw solace from the knowledge that you are not alone. We too have lost a great servant of our people. When people die, we say many things and exaggerate their lives. It is easy to talk about Tate Mahwe because his life cannot be exaggerated. He wrote his own book when he was still alive. So draw solace from the knowledge that you are not alone. We are saddened by the passing on of this great son of the soil. To Baruti Baruna, 
who imbue us with the RDP of the soul, we pass our salutation. Ikama Lengosi Malabong. To our comrades, Comrade Tate, many of us are here, past and present. The whole free state is here. A former Secretary General of the ANC, Gibone Limutunisa Mahlwanga, Takitibi, Ki Protocol, Comrade Ace Mahashule. Um, history, history has got no blank check. Former Premier is present here, I'm told, Mayor Petris Mashov. And the uh, last one, Meman Tomber, I saw her. And the Speaker of uh, Parliament present here. The leadership of our tripartite alliance uh, present here. The Premier of the Northern Cape. And uh, the Premier of Gauteng in absentia. Our Minister May NG and all Deputy Ministers present here, councillors and mayors. Comrades, leadership of the Free State, led by Mkolisi Tukwana as the Provincial Chair and Dielele as the Provincial Secretary of the province and the entire provincial executive and the entire executive of the provincial government led by the premier. Comrades, when I came here, I met a lot of potholes from the airport. As a minister, former minister of transport, I came from Johannesburg and I fixed the Mushwesha Road. You can see it's proper now. That road was not been fixed for more than five years. There are potholes from the airport. I passed another one, was very big. This province has performed under Tate Mahwe. And I'm happy all of you, you are here. Now, this NG will know this, Comrade Ace will know this. Tate Mahwe was not in the list, provincial list to government. We put him back by force. Nelimutu Dissitema also. And then they say there is a song throwing a good love away. You might not know it now, you'll know it someday. Tate Mahwe was one of our best. And he didn't have to prove himself. It should be natural among us that. We can never put this man in the streets. I came here in the first state. I met with comrades, and we argued about Tate becoming the head of elections. I was heading elections of the NC. And uh, we had a long discussion with him. And thereafter, I was not on the list. When Comrade Ace brought the list to the NEC, the NEC took a decision that how come you bring a list here without Tate? And that's how Tate continued. I've got no doubt, I've got no doubt that Tate had a great future in our movement, not because of favors. When he was given a responsibility by the movement, he showed the way. School children, 
our education system, the science he brought to the schools, particularly the historically disadvantaged. For the first time, you can walk into a school and study science because of the methods that Tate introduced. Runa science is about education, physical science. But you company something in the laboratory here. And then it will lead to fire. But Tate understood that our job as a progressive movement is to uplift our people out of poverty through education. That is the task of the National Democratic Revolution. Tate Maho understood that when you are given a job by the movement, I hear the comrade from COSAD saying that they need to be consulted. When you have been consulted and give these people jobs to lead, what do they do? Some of them are underperforming. They don't perform. Renality Porto Ulum, Marunali Government, their ANC, Mobru funding. It's not an opposition government, but if you go and ask them, they plan every day to topple each other in positions. That's what they are experts of. <laughs> now, comrade Pilabaruti Kibatlauri, Arya Tuanaula Sikabahete, ni like we don't have faith. We've got faith. We've got hope that things will change for the better. We celebrate Tate's life that was taken untimely, and we commit ourselves that Barut, Runas Kolosa, we had in our skin. Rekena se na saulukulu wa utseba already in Tuli Taluka. Now, di Taluka ubani ANC ki runaba tuere. And now waga ANC waga runaba tuba moyali nam. How severe is Rubeat's leg? Kwelan tuen na zeli re premier reshuffle cabinet, reshuffle cabinet in phone yo kidi principal di fe. Isinta baruba ta ukinya mutu ubanu na li tightly. Ukinya man unta man. Utar tu zaga imuti yo. Utwana gana unta mutu aurua ibona uri yes batuba. But what can you feel about to feel and to say to you is to tell you what I'm going to feel. You are the Tate Mahwe was the best of the best of the ANC. And when we say we have lost, we know what we mean. And when we stood to defend the decision to bring him back to government, we know what we mean. We have indeed lost, but we've got to pick up the baton and run with it. The Free State have undergone a process to a point where politically you can say it's homophobic. The organization is falling apart. The organization is dying. Our people are not with us. You know Kalipa is a mayor of uh, Machari. He called me there and other ministers with a program. Upami sa Machari. Rekwala di poto hulu vala zonke. Raluki sa meizi unung kamu Machari. Ake na mayor. Ki inge ni fulabo mayara before Kalipa. To do what Kalipa is doing in Machari. Ranalidi meyara rtsweri di maspala marauru ashem. People are not doing what Tate Mahwe was being sent to do and he did it diligently. We keep these people because they are our friends. We keep them because they belong to our factions. For the sake of it. We appoint people in municipalities who've got zilch qualification. Marutuir, na eva rutia kilis kamuhete niki batlauli juetsa kilijuetsa 
re pata thethi magwe e tlo thing chanthwe we are going to change it in the next coming weeks dlele i want you to give us a report of local government in this province and if you've got underqualified people you must tell me why why do you put underqualified people and you expect miracles that you will transform society you will change things for the better but u be ile motho mo hana le metric gore a lide masipala u mufile title le kgolo municipal manager motho a se nang skolo ntwa etse bangutswa because he doesn't know any other thing except to steal that's what is going to happen now this comrade Tate Mahwe was not like that i don't know i don't think even free state premier would have imagined if you do any changes that this man will be out i don't think so you could have kept him there or changed him or whatever i don't decide cabinet reshuffles is the prerogative of the premier we consult each other we talk and all of that about who must go where when what time um, but you, you need to look into quality now the people anc will not be out of power but will take itself out of power because we don't do the right things that we are supposed to do when we say we will deal with load shedding sputla ya mona ya efa handle eh o tla ilukisa load shedding here resebetsa le for the first time i listen to somebody who knows what he's talking about ka le re mamela batho mo sa utlu uri uri mutio na re ntwe re tla enqeta for the first time leave sputla's dance i listen to somebody who knows what he's talking about I get the ANC ya renka iri mbalula minister of transport ke tsebela ga transport ha ke qeta be ke isa round ka bo mampoki isi and all of that people who know nothing u minister you are a political appointee u filo mo sebetso mulu u lola ka bo mampoki isi ba o advise ka transport how are you going to run That's why when you have a minister you must have somebody who, who knows engineering. Ke fitlile mode una le problem ya di trainer ha ke re ke a fata fata ntwe e rana ke ma teacher re moso. Now. Ma teacher a important as ba ke sabo. Le ba ruti ba important o re ruta but nke ba kang ka mo ruti ka re tsamaisa di train ro rapela busiu le mutshari mo di train di sa tsamae i must put an engineer in that job ba ruti ba tse ba hore ke tshwere gae o bong ka motho a ro botsa di qualification una le tsona ke doctor but of theology bo ra no rana pele nomi o tla e pota ga e pele nomi ba ne re o rapela di hoti mo and so on go re dintho di loke you are we've got to align we've got to align things in the organization now as i conclude we have agreed comrades to do things differently Comrade Mpolisi you've got a mammoth of task but uh, we will be breathing down your neck to ensure that things go for the better we know where we come from we know what happened some of the comrades here are in the streets they were not utilized and uh, we nearly suffered a casualty with this comrade I've given you an example with this comrade we nearly suffered a casualty it so happened that he was saved by the ANC many of the comrades 
are out there. I'm saying to you, comrades, let's bury the hatchet. But if you want to fight, the ANC will respond decisively. And uh, bury the hatchet, stop factionalism. I'm happy about this conference. I've had people want to go to court, but they've not gone yet. And I've said to comrades as we speak, work together. Even those who lost, bring them to the fold. The ANC rejected the incorrigible. You can only lose in the ANC if you are a thief because you have lost your bread. But if you are a comrade, you don't lose. Kale rotu wa di conference ngi lose ki runa bana ipile re tsweri no. We have lost. We have lost in conferences several of them. Rotu wa ra ba ra sia le dieta mo. So if you believe in the ANC, you work hard, you will come back. But if unulimu to fell us to go there, you won't. Now our responsibility is to build, not to destroy. And work with people who see progress, who are ready to come to the party and work for the movement. Baruti bate mbatlar tata isa barikinye, arzuleti le. You are like a comrade Tati, and I like a regular leader. Refumane di yota moya. Uban intwe aruna ye sometimes ili ona ishoka di yota moya. Imata chape. You are like a lebo comrades. We will attend every issue, including what Kosatu was talking about. We have a meeting today at four o'clock to look at issues the workers are talking about. We've got a new minister. We are meeting as the alliance together with COSAT to attend to the issues that the comrades are talking about. They are not easy. We are faced with a number of challenges. We need to mop up and get our house clean and do the right thing. Our people want jobs. I was talking to the Youth League the other day, I say jobs cannot only be resolved by a match, they are resolved by ideas. And I say to them, the problem of South Africa's youth in the main is disengaged youth. Young people who dropped out of school, young people with early teenage pregnancy, they constitute the biggest brigade of the unemployed. That's why when you call a match, you find them there in the streets. They've got no hope. And then they characterize them as lost generation. We say, no, they are not a lost generation. What we need to do, we need to intervene, like with massification of National Youth Service program. Take a person who's got three children, dropped out of school, early teenage pregnancy, put her on the program of National Service, you give that person a stipend, you train them, give them a skill, then they are reshuffled back to the economy and to deliver. So they don't only rely on Mundende, which is social security program we've got. That, that is the intervention. Other people think of shutdowns, which are not going to happen. You will have people marching, but the economy will not be shut down. Because shut down after shut down. How do you shut something that is crumbling? When we are working to basically make it work, and then you demand a president who's democratically elected to step aside, Ramaphosa to step aside in next, that thing is not going to happen. Our people do not care who becomes the premier, who becomes a minister. All what they want is how do we resolve their problems? The
No repetile I bening a lady. It's cut to a you are a Greg. Who won the more kings and the brilliant sons from that take a couple of the clothes or look said the potholes. Who would I have been twin? I have worried about what you love, Mama, Chaika, Rabama, Mel, Momanga. These people will listen to you. They voted for the ANC in their numbers. Live and in the Twerk but they voted for us. We reward them with what? We reward them. We can't. But we are plotting ANC. We are strategy. And then, but some I know it's a by election. I will watch for God. Musebetu aunta ategu fedisa mukitu wadika atu tuanel kalipa. And then national government will come in here and support you. We must fight corruption unapologetically and defeat it. Comrade Tate was passionate about education. He was a good comrade. Even here in this conference, Tate Nasata my lady slate. And then when we finished Nazareth, he was deployed by Khalima in uh, Northwest. He didn't finish that job. And then he will call me, SG, SG, we have to talk. He was very happy. He sent me a message on my WhatsApp congratulating me as the SG. And then we're going to talk. I know politics, not about him pleading for a job. I know he was going to talk politics with me as the SG of the organization. Such was the quality we had in the ANC. From the underground structures of our movement to mass democratic movement in the streets of Tumaule to the prisons of Sun City to the democratic dispensation of our government and to leading in the structures of our movement, both north and south and the entire free state. He was steadfast. He understood that for us to change and do things, we must be equipped with revolutionary theory. Um, but we are encouraged by the fact that uh, your husband lived a life that is fulfilling and that we, all of us, can tap from for our own progress. Thank you very much. Captain <laughs> Pela Mufumo Blagas Ha Elohoro Uputezuga Haruho Flach Ya Africa Bourgeois. Jolen Sikam Charles is like a hash and the Timutaso at El Arzib. A Rizona Pileka, a Prochramoya Yarona, a Ha Renze Retola Le Flasso, Lelo Husani Fair, a Togo, Lelo Husani Fair Baba Shab, okay, Shaba was can defy. I don't know how to go home. Give Naza my son. A Shaba can't Flasso, Lelo Husani Fair, Renula. Our National Minister of Basic Education, Minister Ng Motsaha, 
bata basama ya moho le mo premiere wa rona e wa frisata premier e mpolisi dikwane mo premiere ha to bua e na o tla bala pele message o tswa mo president e be ba he kona a tla fana ka puo ya hai jwala le bona ke mfile na go ngata le se bore ei e o bala mela isa emebedi mar hape ke na kwa di khobalwa ke le bolle sia ke mogalebe thank you ke le bo So protocol was established. So how is a pity as soon as you are made. The third Program director. Comrades and friends, indeed today we are gathering here to bid farewell to a great man, Comrade Tate. Indeed, we are here to confirm that this great man has departed from his physical world. He has shuffled off his mortal coil. And as a basic education sector, we are heartbroken, we are gutted by his untimely demise. As we bid farewell to Dr. Tate Marque, Chair, we do so with heavy hearts but at the same time with a great sense of gratitude for the time we shared with him. We take great comfort in knowledge that, we will be that he will be remembered as a true champion of basic education and a servant of people. Indeed, I want to heed the advice that came from D.H. Lawrence when he said, 
the dead do not die, they look on and help. Therefore, we acknowledge that Tate Mahfa has left this earthly realm and his spirit has ascended to a higher place. As the Bible reminds us, for dust, for dust you are, and to dust you will return. So as we say goodbye, we recognize that these words mark the end of a very beautiful journey, a life well lived in the service of humanity. Sadly, we accept that we have to come to terms in the fact that Comrade Tate's time with us has ended and his spirit has transitioned to an eternal realm. And despite his legacy, it will endure and will continue to cherish his memories. Because his life was a testament to his dedication to serving others and his contribution to the basic education sector, and this we'll never forget. We may feel weak now in the face of this tremendous, tremendous loss, but we find strength in knowing that Comrade State's legacy will indeed live with us as long as we live and cannot die. He was a leader who enormously impacted the basic education sector. You see, Premier, when we were announcing the results this year, I told other colleagues to say, I first let us say this one. Given the gap is opening, there's no longer competition. He's already put solid a solid foundation that was made free state unshakable. I was very privileged to have worked for a very long time with Comrade Tate. When we were appointed together in 2009, and we had a discussion with him, I think uh, Comrade Tate was also in that cohort. And I said to Comrade Tate, you know, five years in Yang, and I have a clear target. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to OBEA, which we have started fixing and stabilize the sector. I would say my work has been done. And I explained to him how I think we should travel this journey together. And Comrade Tate said to me, you know, Minister, I'm a scientist. I'm not an educationist, lead we will follow. In no time, Comrade Ted was not, not, only, not only following, but he was leading. He was very thoughtful, very conscientious, but also very brave. But some of the decisions that Comrade Ted had to take, I know he was a Rai on tour when I started to be discussed for PFMA. I was in finance, Rai on tour. He was very brave, but also very hardworking. I always said to people, if any change we want to do it does not work in the free state, which means it's not possible for it to work. And that's how Tate had really made a mark. He was very committed to his work and led to many achievements for the free state and the entire country. When we took 2018, 2019, the country was at 60% in terms of metric pass rates. The free state was not even in the top three. It was not even in the top three. We had Western Cape and Gauteng, Northern Cape at some stage came in, Isla Hello number three. Free State was not even in the top three. We are 60%. Right now, when Comrade Tate leaves, we are at 81%, a whopping 20% improvement. And the Free State did not only lead in terms of metric, because we even rang uh, the, the achievements. This year, the Free State, yes, was a top leader statistically in metric results. He had the top 
districts amongst the 71 districts that came from this province. Free State was acknowledged as having the best district with school nutrition this year. That's why we're here in the province. When we looked at the baskets of indicators, Free State was leading in many respects. In your primary education, in your maths, there was no time where in the Free State you will not even have them in your, in your music competitions. They were really all rounding and shooting from all other areas. Even the schools of, uh, of specialization had started to even encourage other provincial young friends that are not wanted to go to specialization because they were leading even in that sense. And indeed, he was a lifelong learner. Because as he said, now I'm not an educationist, but he started leading in the sector. He was a leader, but also a very humble servant who paid attention to everything and attended to his work with utmost dedication. DM Holly during this week said, even when we were in CM, before the other embassies joined us, when they keep quiet with this Sufikiri, why did you say? Because we, we knew from them we always could get good counsel, but also good advice. Having had the privilege of working with a long time with Comrade Tate, he had even become a sounding board for me on very on different matters. As a result, I used to even Adv uh, 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 invite him to join to some of the national and international trips so that we also, when we come back, we share experiences which would have been perhaps only uh, 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 been exposed to the national minister. I know I traveled with him to Belgium, we've traveled to Finland, we recently went with him to Cuba to go and study the ECD model since the, 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 the function had been shifted to us. And we had plans to go to the Seychelles to also go and study the, the the world's best ECD program. When Prima phoned me about him, the passing of Comrade Tate, I was really gutted because I was with him two weeks and three weeks now. We had a beautiful two days full session with him in the province. With him, we visited a program which we call Second Chance, which is what we are talking uh, to uh, uh, SG. We have agreed with Comrade Tate to say, let's look at young people who have completed, who've passed well, but have not been placed, and who are at home with good certificates. Let's look at kids who have to rewrite. Let's also look at kids. And it was a pilot we're going to do to, to, together to enrich our second chance program. And typical of the free state, the event was packed to the rafters because he was a real organizer. And we couldn't process them because at a meeting where we expected not less than 300, 200 young people, we had more than 2,000 people of young people during the day who all came with certificate, with papers, and we agreed with Comrade Tate. No, uh -uh. Month end, we'll have a big uh, event. We'll call all national departments to help us process young people and see how we can assist them. And I know wherever he is, we'll still want us to continue that program without him. And I did say to Comrade Tate, this neat program of young people are not in education, in employment, and training. If it has to work, I'll see if it works in the free state with your leadership. So I can't The next meeting, and as I said, we'll continue with the program, the Demuloi. In his memory, we have. The next program, we also on the same visit went to the ECD program. A very difficult meeting. But what stands out for me with that detail, because it was a difficult meeting with very heavy conversations. But two things happened there. I said to that detail, you're doing quite well on top here. But look at the free state in your children who are school ready by five. You're not doing well. In terms of access, as a province, are not doing well. 
And Comrade Tate asked me to give him the reports now. I promise you the next day he had read the reports and had a clear sense of what, as the province, they were going to do to address the things we spoke about yesterday. But what helped me most also, it was when we left the meeting, we all agreed, right, what a difficult meeting. And his typical Stasar Marvamaga, ECD is too important not to succeed. We're going to crack this one to it. And that's a commitment. We even shook hands to say, Imaka ECD don't like an Because Comrade Tate was committed to addressing challenges that were highlighted in the report, but in everything that he came across. During our visit in Cuba, he was very ill. But when we said to him with Ambassador Posa to say, no, wait, we will get doctors, he refused to miss, to miss any session. He, he pulled himself along until we finished the program, which displayed his unwavering commitment to his work and his steadfast determination to see things through. Indeed, he was a true champion of education, and his energy would light up any educational function. Indeed, when we come and show, and like I told you, when the and also all the officials at the FAPA, you really acknowledged him. It was a beautiful occasion. He was at his best. He was very happy. In the end, it is simply the best. It was so heartwarming to see the entire committee that came there, Hapa Hama, who be not simply the best, Ubona Rabamu Tuta. So they were not Kutoyo, the Trompeli and Mufayona, and Akwasinze Apila, me Aibona Lena Ralebu. Because he will beam with joy at the sight of the province's exceptional performance, his teachers, principals, managers, and he never stopped thanking them. And his passion for education was very contagious, and he will inspire all those around him with his infectious enthusiasm. It was as if education functions were his stage and he was the star performer, captivating the audience with his unwavering dedication to improve the lives of young people. There's no surprise that during his, uh, <coughs> that his untimely death, they have lots of condolences uh, 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 pouring. And I want to thank you again, Premier Unsuseka for, because when the phone rang, he wrote to Unsuseka for Duguan. And this did, I think, that we were talking about complicated. But it really helped because as soon as the news became public, my phone rang the whole day, ex people expressing their shock as national, not only as a pro everybody was quite shocked. And I got lots of messages, I'll, count, uh, I'll read a few. For instance, a former deputy general, he, she phoned me exactly when the news were going on, 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 on lives. And I heard the news of, of, of Comrade Tate's passing. So said, may his soul rest in peace. And he said, CEM, which is Council of Education Ministers, will never be the same again. And we all agree, it will never be the same again. And he asked us to give the condolences. I also got a similar message from somebody who doesn't talk, uh, 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 necessarily talk to, 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 to Mepadisa. He said, what a great loss, not only to the education sector, but also the entire country. To be honest, I saw him as one of our next ministers of education. May his beautiful soul rest in eternal peace and glory. CEM will never be the same again received messages from Bell, from Naptos, I don't want to read them because of time, from Satu, from Natu, from the South African, or the Racer Inn, 
All our teacher unions sent us messages to really bemoan the tragedy. We also received a number of messages from all our national teacher unions, all of them expressing shock and sadness at his passing. The DA also through his, uh, Mama Jesse also sent, and I read her message, it says the DA extends his deep past condolences to the family, friends, and the colleagues of Comrade Ted. His passing is a great loss to the education sector in South Africa, and his contributions will be sorely missed. The Education Portfolio Committee Chair herself also said we should pass the condolences to the family and the province. The DA also, through its representative, the Shadow Minister Dada, also expressed their condolences. Minister Pando also wanted to be here. She also sent me her message, which I'll, I'll give to the family. All our partners in the sector, Uma Lucy says, when the here, are here, they also send messages, which again will pass to the, to, to the family. Our various school governing bodies and teacher unions have also made, sent their heartfelt condolences to a hero in life and death. Our country has really lost one of the most outstanding education leaders and the one who was simply the best. As Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And Tate made you feel so good, so safe, and so comfortable in his space. His leadership and vision made people feel inspired, feel valued, and empowered. He was known for his consultative and collaborative unity. He felt he motivated people. People felt very motivated to work harder, to improve, and contribute to the great, to the greater good. He had a way of making people feel like they had a stake in the success of education sector and that their efforts were appreciated and valued. Indeed, Comrade Tate left an indelible mark on numerous people's lives and his legacy will remain a source of great inspiration. Although we bid him a final farewell as his body returns to the earth, his spirit will forever be with us. As we contemplate his accomplishments in life, we are struck by the immense influence on South Africa's basic education sector. Indeed, it was after the call when the news were mentioned that I really, for the first time also, came to appreciate the immense contribution that Comrade did. And Trump and our Comrade, uh, Comrade Nopala went to share this thing, and I remember that meeting. The NC screamed to say, Haibo, Utefri said, Utatwagakshi. They can't leave this man out. He's right. I was in that meeting. They said, no, and it's only myself when there were lots of numerous calls that came that I said, actually, this man was big. And sometimes, I'm told how few are in Yaza, he won't give it to my whole way. So I'm coming and you fight well when I give a whole way on a really serious little He's wearing to a whole, this is a healer. And because I think the next year, the way I got this, I had to switch the phone off. Because you have brought me to Limpopo, okay, hey, you go the way. Indeed, his vision for basic education went beyond just improving test scores and academic performances. In the last meeting I was with him, he said, Minister, in terms of announcer, everybody wanting to know who passes the Baba guy. We must go to a stage where Chancellor Talus or my face in my face is Johan. So every child who reaches grade 12 should pass. He says we should also run a campaign and mess for all. It should be mess for all. And agree how we're going to get a state to a stage where it's mess for all. He had lots of ideas also, and I, I, I will follow up with the province to even start a provincial assessment because he says I can't assess a grade 12 failure, but our assessor from grade R. And that's what he was already working on. So his vision for basic education even went beyond test scores, but not like the test scores. As I said in the last results, the difference was so high, I even told other MEC that the level was second and third. He was such a, I want to say I'm such a life man. 
He also understood that education was a pathway to a better life, a means of lifting individuals and communities out of poverty and towards a brighter future. He worked tirelessly to ensure that every child in the free state had access to quality education, regardless of their background and circumstances. And you say, as you say, as you sometimes when I go to schools, go over to because I don't know about to He never had that feeling in place that he knew that there were people that are working and what is it that they are doing. And his tenure, as it was reported repeatedly during the week, he had seven years, and I can tell you they were friends with Pangeza, but they were fighting <laughs> toe to toe. There was a year he disrupted, uh, the Sufi disrupted, how they disrupted a uh, free state. He over seven years in conse consecutive. I keep four. Immediately, the Sufi again, I can hurry. Halla Titi Garuskanda Femuna Kitty Galeva to Baba Limon and to Tent Teddy by Sahalla. Arka Huta Garta Hu, Arhaka Huta Vekla Hute La Muliva, Hassana Unta Tata Melamu, Germar Limonse, Architect Houting, you watch the Limonse, our architect and two. And this was a gentleman, he laughed at it and started congratulating the Sufin say, Fan Kitro Bonsa, Kitro Water, who watch your boat while Lore, Uskan Uskan Toy, Skankata Mel. He really was in a league of his own, a pathfinder. He was driven by the quest to eradicate poverty and underdevelopment. He was committed to the people of this country and was unwavering as he worked tirelessly to ensure that they received the best education. And indeed, he was a man of integrity, of principles, living his life by the values he held. And as other speakers had said, he really loved his family. There are chickens when he were in Cape Town, come seven, still a widow who junior, he'll bring junior with him, will sit. At the end of the day, we ended knowing his family because he really cared for his family. And I want to join people who are saying, Ula Palantate, Raja Wache, for sharing him with us. He was the most beautiful soul to have been part of us. Who will be moving to us? Especially those two days were tough. We worked hard in those two days in the last two weeks when I was here in the Free State. But we really want to thank you most sincerely for having shared such a great person with us. For really this great son that we all cherish. We'll cherish his memory. We'll try to ease the pain of him sleeping away. And indeed, his death is a reminder of the fleeting nature of life and the importance of leaving a lasting legacy. It also rem reminds us that material things and friendships are temporary. His physical presence is, may be gone, but his spirit lives. And I really want to thank even the Free State team, his managers, all this talent would not have shown. So I want to thank you, the officials of the Free State Education Department, but we also want to thank the family Check out Shilod Junior. They really used to love each other. Not Hashaba Junior, you could see this kid is in awe at the greatness of his father. On the other hand, Tate was in, at, in awe at the achievements of his son. So, Kilewa, who would have been just a pillar of Anamaka? Are you in trouble? All I can do is that Tatewa Luna was indeed simply the best. All I can do is to wish you all the best. After I got the call from the date, in school that is here, I started playing the tin antenna which we were playing with him. So much tolerance. Half four o'clock, he rather did the Ghana king. That's the only way I really want to remember the man because indeed he was simply the best, and we will always remember him 
Yeah, you know. Because he really liked that senior tenor piece. And I played it the whole day on Sunday as a way of really recognizing that simply the best has gone. Yeah, Thank you, Kelebwe bata maisi bom sebeti, kelebwe siruti, family as I will bana le malapa oche amararo akopani kabakala le solelena ise thompo echolo naloga kichilo. Oboche, Batile Nkwano, Obane na Goyaro na Ile. Eko Petsu Harelo, Hagi Sato Elata. Ke, Tama Agayo, Na Jualo, Obane Arsana Nako. Ke, Chompeba Etapele, Batile Nkwano. Mwodi Mwholo, Oamukhato wa ANC. Member Raya Runaya, NEC, Leona Fela Freistata. We are the people who are the ANC, our fellow Batengwan. The Boshe, Bao Balela Ipumana, Balekan Tegana Vitelele, Batilen Haye Realebo. Haji kala kieta msebiti. Ntumele hobani kilakata hore. Ngeje hule vikele lotalona maobani. Haji buwa lepatong. Layo ana asilita liena warrant officer vuyo mji. Kilegare ha Ona dinto te talanga coincidence. Upelo habona coincidence. Kilega bua kadi nambara. Kilega hutisa ntwe ngoholo na mi. Kita yeta hapo bane kibata. Leke letebe di nambara. Osiweza kadi nambara. Humuna te haholo. Lelo nabana letebe o mete hautata meto mwede. Hau sheba le tatila tualo ya koku yena. Ke tuwa alfo kwe dinye mei, ilo nkwe di abu shano, 1963. Tamaya uloko panyantu te mo ka ofela, the end of it all, out of mana 27. Out of mana 27 yeno yko panye, tu le severe ta ofa nai. It takes nine months. For a mother to give birth to a child. The birth date of this man tells it all. When you add the numbers that you find there, when you add 1 plus 2, plus 5, plus 1, plus 9, plus 6, plus 3, it will give you 27. 2 plus 7, it will give you 9. And that is the time, the length, and that is hate for you. When you look at the letter T, Leo, Laketa, Luena, Kirifa, if you match, Kweja Braro, Eda, Doloka, Kubon, Tite, Eta, Yamane, Ofe, 15, 1 plus 5, Eta, Ofe, 6, Mudimu, La, Sereta, Ayeta, Toshe, Kamata, Tatsilela, so coincidence. 
Baru mudimu utiba muriru hao he miriru ka fele te khonya hao otu hao to ala le hao ta soka hala otiba tsohle and i've just demonstrated to you using the numbers that you have here there's no coincidence there are no coincidence why you would have the number if you check the name yamunna you know Pule, kill letter Z4. Isaka, kill letter Z4. Nickname I, get hate. It has to do with the solid foundation in the number four. He was solid. And this is what we have. Solid. That was the character of the man we bid him farewell. There are no coincidence in life. It's only that <clears throat> we as human beings, there are things that are hidden from us. But all the time, we must pray for God to reveal all these things to us. There are 24 speakers. Out of the family, two plus forty-six. In the end, I go out fair. Sebedi, sebedi, we are come sebedi. We are eight. All these twenty-four speakers, two plus four is six. And I told you what it meant. He worked. You were talking about his work and this this program demonstrated that. There are no coincidences in life. You work, you write your own history as you live. Before I read what the president has written, I just want to challenge you again, all of you who are here. Emisipule Mahwe, fondly known as Tate Mahwe, did not want to be only the best. He did not want to be better than any of us because he would be seeking to be measured by our own standards and that would be very low for him. But he aspired to be absolute authentic to whom he is and he was. And that is why he is irreplaceable. That is why there will be there will never be another Tate Mahwe because he was authentic. Osaivi, only when, when words fail us, when all has been said and many people have spoken, Sometimes we need to go back to the creative people. Craig Morgan, in a song, When I'm Gone, writes the following. And this is what a Tate would have wanted to say to us when he passed on to all of us gathered here. My last breath. I want to take with a smile and no regrets, no hope of turning back that dial. Let a story I have written be something worth leaving behind. When I'm gone, tell them I laughed more than I, I shed tears. When I'm gone, tell them I stared down 
all my fears. But I danced on a wire and I walked through the fire. And I lived every moment till that moment retired me. So my life goes on, it goes on when I'm gone. That is what Tate would have wanted to say to us, to you, Ivy. Another version of the song with the same title, but this time by Joanne Rory, the, the country music. This woman, Una Sante Abonali Fuda Hayo Banuna Turuki Kansa in the advanced. She penned this, and this is what Tate would have wanted to write to you. When I'm gone, a bright sunrise will contradict the heavy fall that weighs you down. In spite of all the funeral songs, the bird will make their joyful sound. You wonder why the earth still moves. You wonder how you will carry on. But you'll be okay on the first day when I'm gone. Dusk will come with fireflies and with poor will and crickets call and every star will take its place. And silvery gowns and purple showers you lie down in our big bed. Dread the dark and dread the dawn. But you'll be all right on that first night when I'm gone. You'll reach for me in vain. You'll be whispering my name as if sorrow were your friend. And this world so in the end, but life will call with daffodil and morning glorious blue skies. You will think of me some memory and softly smile to your surprise, I'll say. And even though you love me still, you will know where you belong. Just give it time. We'll both be fine where I'm gone. The message from the president of the country. This message is addressed to dear sister Ivy, Palisa Maki, and Junior, and all the children. We embrace you with love and sympathy today as you lay to rest your beloved husband and father, Pule Herbert Isaac Mahwe. At the same time, our prayers and thoughts are also extended to the family of Warrant Officer Vuyomti, who lost his life in an equally untimely manner in the same tragedy. Today, the people of the free state and the nation at large are united in mourning the passing of Tate Mahwe a remarkable person, an outstanding leader, and a passionate champion of education as the root of personal and societal transformation. It is natural in circumstances such as this, our attention is drawn to the fact that Tate Mahwe has been taken from us so shortly before his landmark 60, 60th birthday. He was a life devoted equitably to our liberation movement and his development as a person and a leader through a passionate pursuit of education. Tate Mahwe served the people of the free state and our country through various terms as a member of the Executive Council for Finance, Tourism, Environmental Affairs, Agriculture, Public Safety, 
security analyzing, and mostly recently education. His credential as an activist were as impressive and inspirational as his academic achievements, which include a Bachelor of Commerce degree from the University of South Africa, an honors degree in commerce from the University of the Free State, and a master's degree in business leadership from UNISA. His personal journey made him the invaluable champion he became of education in his home province. His lifelong commitment to a better life for all the people of the Free State gave him a profound appreciation for education as the portal to individual and collective realization, dignity, and prosperity. Tate Mahler was passionate about the African child and worked night and day to ensure that a child in the township and rural areas had as much opportunity to thrive and excel as a child in the city. He recognized that government alone cannot fix education. As a result, he built a network of partners from corporates and civil society to ensure success. It was through the program of Adopt a School Foundation and the KST partnership that I had the pleasure of working closely with him. When the Cyril Ramaphosa Foundation and Kathiso Trust established KST Trust with the aim of transforming education for rural and township school, the Free State Province, under his stewardship, was the first province to embrace this model and entered into a partnership in 2013. Through this partnership, he ensured that the deliver of quality education became a reality. Tate Mahwe was a visionary and astute leader who was able to transfer his passion of improving the future prospects of an African child through quality education to the officials and partners in education. In 2009, when he joined the education portfolio, the Free State achieved, had achieved 71.8% pass rate in the National Senior Certificate. And today, he leaves us, having led the department to achieve 88.5%. Not only did he lead the department to achieve outstanding metric results, but ensure that the Free State also topped the charts in primary school results, school nutrition, and championing social welfare programs in schools. His remarkable achievements of transforming the system of education in the Free State will maintain the province's status as the best in our country for many years to come. On achieving this, on achieving this success, he was happy to share valuable lessons with other provinces. Tate Mahwe's legacy is one that will keep on giving as, as, is on giving as generations of young free state citizens step into progressive better future through the doors of learning help to open. In private terms, his legacy will be encapsulated. My sister Ivy, in the warmth and love with which he shared a life of public service and profile with you and the children as the loved ones closest to him and as the safest retreat from the slings and arrows of public leadership. We thank you for sharing your husband and father with the nation. We stand by you in this difficult hour and we will be at your side in those times when you will remember Tate with sadness as well as those times you will be proud and joyful at what he has meant to the nation. May his soul rest in peace. Yours in sorrow. Signed, Mr. Matamela Sela Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa. I thank you. Let me say this as I conclude so that you know Dr. Zamani Son. Tate Mahwe was not one of the longest serving 
members of the legislature. He was the longest serving member. He was not only the longest serving member of the legislature, but he was also the longest serving member of the executive. From 1994 up until now, it was only 2001 to 2004 that he was not a member of the executive council. So here we are burying a real cadre of the movement, a committed soul, a leader, and a proud father loving husband. And to the family, as governor of the free state, we give you honor for the moment and the times you have given us this hero, this giant. He is no more, but his legacy shall continue. He lives among us. His work speaks for itself. Siabule. The president of the ANC, the president of the country, and President Cyril Ramaphosa. Mamelwe <laughs> So you know, I carry a MEC or on a MEC or health. Thank you, thank you, Program Director, and um, let me also uh, give you a little bit of a little bit of a of the DG when he said we must also uh, Recognize the Minister of the uh, Education, May Njimus Hecha, also the Premier of the Free State, Ndadem Kolisi Dugwani. We also want to recognize the Secretary General, Ndate Malula. And let me say, because indeed the time has gone, I say protocol observed. Um, let me start by thanking Comrade Tate himself. Let me say thank you, Comrade Tate, for dedicating your life to serving the people of Free State and South Africa in general. We stand here to say to thank you and also thanking you for having been a mentor to all other executive members. Uh, we also want to thank his church, is the Eagles Christian Church, that is his spiritual home. We want to thank you for looking after Tate and making sure that he is spiritually healthy because that is necessary and I think that is also 
what also drove him to be able to be to continue being the simply the best. We want to thank uh, the three families, like we say, for giving us Tate because Tate spent most of his or most of his time serving the people, working for us, and not spending time with his family. Not not because he loved to any less, but because he felt the need to serve the people. I want to thank the African National Congress, his political home as well, for also allowing Tate to serve the people as he did. I want to also take this opportunity to thank everybody, everybody that gave us the message. But outstandingly, I would like to thank the Secretary General's message and also the President's message that was read, was read by the Premier now for everybody. Including the family, celebrating a life well lived, saving the people. And because everybody who stood here said Tate wrote his book so it was easy for everyone that stood here to talk about Tate. Let me uh, end by saying um, Comrade Tate go well well, we would indeed pick up the baton and make sure that we continue serving the people of South Africa. Mandla. Uh, thank you, Memonse, uh, DG, the CB song for a Kamura, Sebele Sakirakeman, Harkatafa, Muruti, Kimurutia Swans Pony Seng, Murutu, Wosan Sangam Service, Hauna Morta Slari, Rebuating Hat, Joyle, the Kere, the Sibiso, the Zamaiso, the Toso Gaufera, the Sibi Salusway, the Salo Hono Joy. Thank you. Really, we have a program director. We are going to be like that. We are going to be celebrating. So, if you are going to be like that, Africa will be our member. Let's not allow us to be like that. We are going 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 to be like that. Sesen sabah fu bens play, me rekupa hore family kau fella kense di, ibu saya besar yang nanti nanti lagi kense kuano, accreditation, ekense family kau fella bataya, mo no mesti ngoku sizen the graveyard the bens play, and then our guests with a green a sticker will also a green color will also got the symmetry and uh, our guests with a yellow is that yellow sticker will also go to the graveyard the church and the police the rest of other people will be served here uh, immediately after the procession has departed for the symmetry and uh, when we come back from the cemetery, the rest of the family will go home. They will be served at home. 
and the rest of the guests will come back here and they will be served uh, uh, food here. So thank you very much, uh, Program Director. I hand over to Captain Finger, uh, the chaplain, to help us depart from this place. Program Director, Usun Khalimetur Saga Carrera, Leao no Duzi Pilunyaka Hore, Jolakas Police, Kirumweki, General Mutoyani, Kirifela of Emili, Leta Tilda Chava, we see with Afita, Kapakiri Hatta Ripetella, eh. Mudimu Maubani in a Mudim, Kajel in the Mudim, Losani, Eclavin in the Mudim, Kakresta Morena. Amen. Kiko Binta Mabito Adi Paul Diras Metila Yobata Tagayona, Batata, Batwa, Munakoani, Batra Dualu, Kiko Padi Camera, Akinsuna, the Ritjong, Babadu Tula. One of our program directors was the Ali Mushile order. It was a little on our civil union. Really, we are going to need it. Lohana Joal Harris Harris Fella Joalo, Lars and Lemabiki. He beats a Libito, Lower and Officer Ramotoela. Warrant Officer Ramotoela. Alatelo ke Warrant Officer Khatate. Warrant Officer Ndai. Warrant Officer Musia. Warrant Officer Makati. Warrant Officer Pofolo. Warna no visa no tuani, warna no awa marshalling officer, Ellen Lieutenant Colonel Mui Lua, bata ta he, kata la yuba tuzo 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 Kapili pili 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 tava barundi. Kapili kapili pili. Bata bata mae hule lena wana kuto bara misif. And then immediately after them, utala chala na as the chaplain. Chaplain ni muruti was police, ni muruti lin. As the chaplain, immediately after the chaplain, utala chala the Paul Bieras, bawa bata bata sere likesi. And after the Paul uh, the Paul Bieras, hotala chela the commissioned officers, hola chela, mostly malu kela ki tum pa bo pre biri jualo, and then after that, hobo hola chela family, and after the family, itaba si chama ka ufel, ki alibu abo mele bontar, ki te pore, I was I was clear on that one. Thank you very much.
Are you happy? Am I too close to him? I'm cold, guys. That's why I'm a bit... Hey, what yeah, all of a sudden yeah. it was cold, so... They haven't called me yet, ne? I'm still waiting. I'm gonna release you immediately. I'll be ten seconds.